we did yet for him. Yeah. So. All right, we're on. You're on the screen. I'm on the screen. <laughs> now I'm coming around to the screen. We have uh, a different setup today because we're playing a dexterity game. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely not Star Wars. 100% not a Star Wars dexterity game. <laughs> Um, we're try we're trying to do something called Back Shelf Thursday, which is me trying to make sure we're getting through our games on our shelf of opportunity or games that we've only played once, and mm -hmm. we were like that was fun, and then we have too many other games that we move on to the next one and we don't really get a chance to play it. So this game Flick Fleet is on the never been played but have owned for how long uh i've only had for it was a kickstarter fulfilled last summer so six months mm -hmm. which um uh, seems like a long time depending on who you are but uh in the grand scheme of things i've had other games longer so. <laughs> but this one got to the yeah this one got to the um got to the table um but I this, think this yeah. also was born out of a conversation we had yesterday where Pia very emphatically said, I hate all dexterity games. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't say I hate them. I said, I finally I, said, like, I don't like them. Or maybe, it was a very bold statement. It was brash. I like to make bold statements. <laughs> <laughs> and so I challenged that. I said, well, you've played a lot of like stacking dexterity games but not any flicking dexterity games. And yeah. So um, this is the only dexterity game I own. Um, and so we thought we'd give it a try for Back Shelf Thursdays. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's interesting, too, because I think we talked about, um, or I think one of the very first um, Twitch streams we we watched with a raid, we raided into board game Steph's um, channel, and they just did a whole bunch of dexterity games. And so I was like, "Oh, how do you even?" I feel like those would just be a little difficult to um, stream. So that's why we have a different setup. It's prob the stream is gonna be fifty percent us trying to pick up dice from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we have like totally reorganized our living room here. We've like moved the chairs back. So that we're not having to stumble over them during the stream. But you want to hold this up to the camera oh, a little bit yeah. so that people can kind of see that. We are the playing Flick Flick Fleet. Fleet. And the person who made it signed it for Andrew. Yeah, well, it's, it is a Kickstarter. Um, and I think they all were signed. Uh, oh, actually, I didn't I realize. Yeah, it, he wasn't like, and I'm going to sign Andrew's box, you know. <laughs> it was special for Andrew. No, I, that kind of shows how little i know about kickstarters i mean this was a it was a they have done i think three kickstarters now for this game oh that's awesome um it's i think they're just kind of using it as a way to do their orders in bulk um duke of frank's here what up I feel like... oh he's got he's using all the emotes <laughs> <laughs> i feel like you would really like this game you and katie it's just a funny game and we were practicing it, Duke, and I was getting really competitive. <laughs> and I realized I get competitive if it's a game I think I can win. Um, and it's also really embarrassing because you can just totally whiff it. Well, I can totally whiff it when I'm flicking the Oh, little... we're getting raided by Ruel. Oh, well, what up? Um, we are starting this thing called back shelf thursday where we play games we've only played once or have never played so welcome <laughs> so we reach to the back of the shelf so we're playing flick fleet tonight uh for ever everyone who's new um we are uh board game spam i'm Hi. andrew i'm pia and we stream on mondays and thursdays and soon possibly fridays but this is the raid idol we do analog alerts just like your well does so you'll be familiar with this is the raid raid idol. He comes out whenever there's a raid and he sings about the raid. Uh Happy Raid! <laughs> Andrew, Andrew's setting me up. I, he I usually does. He doesn't sing, but <laughs> he usually does the raid idol and 
he set me up. But um, <laughs> thank you for joining us. We were just talking about how this is a different setup for us because we are doing a dexterity game. And this is our only dexterity game, Flick mm -hmm. Fleet. Um, I was also talking about how we played it a few hours ago and I got very competitive because I like had some really good moves and then I whiffed it a bunch of times too. So I'm like, oh, I can do better than this. <laughs> so th this game is definitely not Star Wars at all. It's Flick Fleet where there's a resistance fighting a, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, it's not the Empire. It's definitely not the Empire. Uh, <laughs> but it's a uh, very Empire looking ships and uh they uh battle on a space map that we have out here it's an old space map actually that i still have from when i played x-wing back in the day but we have a new follow here three divine so when we have a, a follow dr alan grant comes out and he says thank you for the follow he was just over there uh digging up some alien bones uh from a galaxy far far away that happens to be on our planet and he says thank you and he goes back to his job digging up those bones <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for following. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Um, so yeah, we're playing Flick Fleet. It's kind of a a funny dexterity game, but also strategic. Um, if you've ever played X Wing, the miniatures game, it has a bit of uh, of a feel of that, but just way lighter, super light. None of the fiddly miniatures stuff that goes on in in miniatures games. Um, the rule book is like five pages, um, and it's complete. So. <laughs> uh yeah ruel is awesome thank you so much for the raid we really appreciate yeah, it hey panda you. angel Hi. panda angel had a great stream and i um baked banana bread while she streamed and it was really great it was like hanging out with a friend baking and but she was playing a game and i was <laughs> um mashing bananas and whatnot but i saved the bananas that were very overripe and they were I was like, I got to do it today. I have to bake today. And then I didn't do it. And then I was like, today I'm going to bake. And then it was just like a perfect, um, I don't know, combination of someone playing a game that I'm like, I can do something fun too. I should make myself a treat. Um, <laughs> hey, we got two more follows. Oh. Uh, Dr. Alan Grant's going to come out and say hello to Brain in a Jar and Book of Nerds. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome. Thank so, you for the follow. Yeah, thank you for the follow. And then at Dr. Allen Grant's going to go back to his alien bones uh, slash dinosaur bones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, new to the channel. Nice to meet you, too. Um, yeah, we typically um, play like midway Euro games or something narrative, but we were feeling like a little silly today. So we were like, let's try a dexterity game. And it's just fun and light. And we haven't played it yet, but yeah. we've owned it for about half a year. Yeah. So we're trying uh, to get yeah. through <laughs> So it also came from, uh, we were talking about different genres last night, and uh, Pia made a very bold claim that she's like, I don't like dexterity games. And I said, ah, are you sure? Uh, I, I don't know if you've played enough of them. We, we don't really have that many. And uh, I like to and, make bold claims yeah, so without yeah. any then substantiated then evidence. <laughs> we asked some more, asked more questions, and we eventually figured out she doesn't like stacking games where you're balancing things. And I was like, well, we haven't played a flicking game. So uh, this is, I think, the only flicking game we own. Again, we're not huge dexterity game people, but um, it is one that I've heard really good things about. Uh, mostly by uh, Board Game Garage, really love it. And they do uh, small kind of Kickstarter runs on this every once in a while. So here, we're going to show you the game. Um, yeah, flip to the screen. Star wipe. And here's the game. So... Um, We've got these ships here, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be flicking the ships, and then we put dice on the ships to fire their guns, and then we flick the dice. And if they hit the other ship, then they do damage. And the damage they do is based off of the die roll. So um, I'll show you. It's not the amount of damage, but each ship has like... Um, different spots on them that uh, if you roll a six, you would do damage to the engines and then it won't be able to be moved anymore. Or, you know, a one will damage the guns, uh, will damage the guns or, you know, so on and so forth. Um, there are shields, but the ship, if any of those places are damaged and that number gets rolled again, the ship's dead. It's gone. So, 
uh, not a lot of health, and rounds are uh, supposedly about 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, we tested it earlier today, and I think that panned out pretty, was pretty accurate. Um, the, this, since this was Andrew's old X-Wing mat, it was not, it was just kind of rolled up somewhere. Um, and so it's got a lot of, it's not really an even playing field. What did you call it earlier? The little bumps on the mat? <laughs> yeah, these are gravity waves that, uh, that are, you know, rolling through space here, which were, you know, recently discovered in the last year or so. So, uh, we have to deal with the gravity waves because this was not rolled, uh, very evenly and stored for a few years so <laughs> oh my head's outside the frame um we got a few things in chat here um Kwai you play says hi new to the channel nice to meet you nice to meet you too Thanks and for joining. duke frank says can we get some slow-mo flick shots Ooh. <gasps> oh yeah i think we should do some like um some like uh warm-up or like this is this is my my approach some, some we should do like three um like like uh prep <laughs> um prep shots yes. practice shots here okay um i i purposefully i was i had like a cardigan earlier and i was like knocking it with my sleeve so i was like okay this is this is what an athlete would wear sweatpants <laughs> and, and we're standing it's, it's standing up night uh, <laughs> okay so i'm practicing maybe, practicing the long uh, shot you gotta you gotta do the lasers okay the so carpet. lasers are red we're practicing each with the red I think I decided I was gonna flick with my. Oh, so here oh, uh, we were saying out. that this is um, <laughs> this stream is gonna be fifty percent us grabbing dice from the floor. We really are trying not to. One thing for the rules, is I wish I could just move the camera so you guys can see. But um, the one of the things is that if you knock your die off the mat or off the table you um even if you you hit the ship and it rolled off the table you Woo! lose it so i just went underneath the couch <laughs> so definitely gotta calibrate our my calibrate your strength <laughs> my shot okay you can go ahead and calibrate um, your strength your shot. all right so uh we also got a few jets here brandon and jar says i don't know nearly enough dexterity games Ex excited to see this play through yeah uh me neither I have owned a couple over the years, and they just don't see the same, okay. um, the same table time that other games do that I own. So, um, I think this is like my ideal play place with this is like if I was on a cabin weekend or something like that, it would be easy to to um, <laughs> to uh, to pull out and and get a game going. Ooh, we got a new uh, follower, AJ Gamer. O2, Dr. Alan Grant says, thank you for the follow. He's going to go dust off his dinosaur down here. Um, and then the Moise says, so we'll see some X-Wing on stream in the future. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, bad news, the Moy. He's a friend of the stream. Also someone who I used to play X-Wing with. He did sell all my X-Wing stuff. Uh, it was wow. taking up too much space. <laughs> it taking a lot of space. Um, but and... somehow the mat stayed here with us for this very reason oh man this is a oh, bad man. sign sorry andrew's gonna be the one this just reminds me of tennis i um, i've got an idea pia what? let's flip sides let's oh wait flip. no our names are on here no it's okay, okay. I, i'm an Armenian. i'm an Armenian. <laughs> okay, okay. i already told andrew i said if you it like we should have a rule where if one person wins the first two games each game is from 10 to 20 minutes if there's like they you um you or i beat the other person like twice then the other person has to like take a shot and play with their left hand or something <laughs> their non-dominant hand um yeah. but it, i just i'm just calibrating don't worry <laughs> okay so um it's about five centimeters from the edge uh, and, we're, and playing, the rebels, we're, we're playing casual here uh, <laughs> the so. rebels are um they are, they start with all of their people yes. on here. Okay. So I have one ship to your three, so you're going to be starting. Okay. So you, the way you go is like, there's like, I would liken it to Sleeping Gods in terms of command tokens. I've recently played Sleeping Gods, so that's what I'm thinking about. So I think I'm going to select this Although this game is nothing like Sleeping no, Gods. No, so the command token part. So I move that there, and then my first move is going to 
B to move my shit. Get it all the way across the board. Oh, God. Barely. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, with the game, if you ram your ship into the other ship, you um, destroy your ship. No, no, no. Only if you declare it as a, as a ramming action. Oh, I did yeah, not declare yeah, yeah. it as a ramming. I so was trying to move. All that <laughs> happens now is uh, they stay where they are. Um, you're really lucky I didn't go flying off the map. Um, and then you end your turn early. Oh, you no. Normally you get two actions. And so she did her first action, which was the move. And then, uh, of course, her... <laughs> let it her be next known, action is gone. Let it be known that I have not been that accurate thus far. So... <laughs> So I'm going to launch my bomber. Oh my gosh, your bomber is so close to my ship. <laughs> Come back, everybody. And I'm going to... Oh, I should just attack. I should just attack. You're so close. <laughs> okay. My second action. Oh my gosh. I want more ships out. So I'm... Okay, my second action is I'm going to attack. Okay. All right, so that takes... I'm dead. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. You have two shields, of oh, course. Okay. So the first two hits on a ship always damage the shields, which the number doesn't matter for that. It's just... Uh, unless it's seven or more. Um, seven or more is always a miss. So, um, yeah, so that was my turn. That was two moves for you? Oh, you brought, I, out, uh, one, you brought mm -hmm. out your bomber and then you... Okay. Part of me wants to get out of the way, but I'm afraid I'm going to, like, fly off the map. But I can't move that person now, right? Yeah, so he has, he's, oh, his no. cube is gone. Okay. I'm sending in. I'm sending in. Is this, is this, uh, I'm sending in these guys. So the circles are fighter squadrons. Um, you can't see it, but there are pictures of, um, which is actually before you go, if I can get this on the camera. They are definitely, definitely not X wings on there. <laughs> something else. Okay, can I go? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no. You got really slow X wings. <laughs> All right, so that was your one of your actions. This is this might be why I'm not. But no, you. Uh, so your two actions have to be different. Different. Yeah. So you can fire. I guess I'll fire then. Oh, is is it a? Do I'm, I use I'm, this? Up a, I'm holding up a blanket just to, <laughs> to block the dice. You can block. you can bring it closer, like so against the thing. Okay. Um, and it's the red one. The red one. Okay. I'm gonna shoot my red. You could. That's really scary. <laughs> oh no! Can I move this guy instead, or is it just You've two actions? Start. Thing? You already... Okay, X wing. You already flicked it once. <laughs> this is so. I think the rest of your fleet's wondering why your guy if he's grown for that. <laughs> over there. Okay. All right. So it's my turn. Um. Oops. Here's your laser. Uh, I'm gonna do my I'm... bombers. And so my bombers. Uh, they're actually the only ship right now that shoots a D6. D6s are. Uh. Ooh. Duke Frank says hydrate. Ooh. Hydrate. Drinking um, wing from Wingman Brewers tonight. P fifty one Porter, Tacoma, Washington Brewery. Big juicy IPA. No leaf, and not very much of it. You would think I had a lot of it <laughs> with no. my with my performance thus far. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna be shooting at P the ship here. It's so funny because it's so like anticlimactic, but I'm like, no. So then so, that's another one of my shields. That's your shields, yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna move. Oh no. This is not a ramming action, although it might move you. <laughs> Dang it! I, I, I've flung you so far, a little further than I wanted to, to flank you. Um. Okay. And so now it's this guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Just my destroyer, the resistance. Here we go. The thing is, we have to get over this gravity. What is it? This gravity wave over here. This gravity wave. Ooh, the Hoppy Meeple's here. Welcome to the What's stream. What's up, Hoppy Meeple? We. Ooh, rectangles. Another a new follow. Thanks again. Uh, this is. We have to do analog alerts here. This is Dr. Alan Grant. Um, actually, we can probably put him on the big one here. He says, "Thank you for the follow. I was just 
digging up some bones, and I'm going to go continue digging up bones, but I appreciate it. Um, is rectangles with a W? It is. Yeah. Rectangles. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay. I'm going to try and not ram my ship, not wreck my ship into this bomber. Okay. We're moving. We're not ramming. Yeah, there are certain zones on the ship that are okay to, to <laughs> flick, and you can flick the side. <laughs> um, uh, and... Ruel says, lol, I love the analog alerts. <laughs> Ruel, you inspired our analog alerts. I, there's something about it. So we both worked at camp. That's where we met. And so uh, there's something about it that just is so reminiscent of, of kind of the campiness of camp and uh, the fun energy of camp. And so it was it was one of the things that was like, I think we can stream. This thing the analog alerts. <laughs> there's something like it just deeply connected with yeah, us. Like making like, like... It immediately made sense. <laughs> In your stream when you were talking about Michelle making the um, raid like helmet, it just reminded us of at our camp we had these weekly um like awards for the staff but the one of the staff members just kept building this enormous um enormous trophy so he would get trophies from goodwill or value village and just start like um screwing them onto each other so there was like a bowling one and like a i don't know um like tennis and like soccer and it just became this huge mass that was all connected <laughs> and i was like oh man it's just like i don't know the fun of creating something like i need a raid hat i will make <laughs> like make michelle it. will make a, a a raid hat like yeah I, we need an analog alert like <laughs> we'll find a toy that we own from yeah. our childhood <laughs> uh rectangle said uh appreciate you dr alan grant he definitely appreciates you uh this is actually a toy that I grew up playing with, um, and we originally only used it during our play of Dinogenics because we thought it was on theme, and he's just stuck around hanging out. So uh, I don't plan on not I, I don't plan on using something else for a long time. <laughs> um, and uh, Ruel says y'all are our people. Yes, thank <laughs> you, Ruel. We really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's been really fun just getting involved with the uh, community here and mm -hmm. and being. Getting hyped every day uh, that we stream. We start with we start with your stream as we're putting the baby down. And, for the uh, evening, for the we evening watch down. streams in the <laughs> yeah as we eat. Yeah, uh, I we we cleaned. I cleaned the kitchen. Um, lurking during book of it's your turn by the way. Oh, um, book of oh, nerds. Oh, we're uh, we're done with the round, so all our oh. chips get purple tile skin. Book of nerds was painting, and, and so you I'll... start since you have more ships. Cool. So while he was painting, I was cleaning the kitchen, um, and then I was done cleaning the kitchen, and then um, he raided into Amanda's Twitch stream. So then uh, uh, the kitchen was clean, so then I wanted to bake. But it's just been a fun day of streams and board games, and now just getting destroyed in this game. Yeah, and shout out to, uh, to Book of Nerds. Um, we really appreciate his stream. The... during the day yeah okay let's see how oh my gosh he, I he feel has, like... uh book of nerds um does the uh the painting yeah. ones and he has quoted you many times oh no <laughs> it's such a terrible angle i you can you can walk around if, if you no you okay. already flicked it though i already flicked it yeah, that's so it that that's, move. this is andrew andrew's <laughs> stickler for the rule yeah i am um Biomechanically, I should know better. I should be like, uh, like a um, like three point, like three points of contact. And uh, you, so you actually don't have any ships with me. So. Okay, I'm attacking this bomber. Ooh, with a miss. <laughs> and I had, I should have put up the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> you think uh, at this distance I could handle it, but. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Caro in the house. See a new pizza emote. Yeah, that got approved today. We got uh, the pizza emote and the rage emote approved. We only have two slots in our level one right now. So eventually when we get more slots, we'll move the rage up to level one. So, We're mo they we gate us. Uh, Twitch gates us on that. We mostly just want to make a bunch of food related emotes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Andrew, your uh, turn. Okay, I am... Going to... I think this is a better pattern. It's not right in front of your. Mm -hmm. That was very nice of you for not 
gonna launch attacking miners. So Andrew, I can't... I did attack yours. I just accidentally also launched it across the whole map. <laughs> I launched some fighters, and then I am going to... And I can't do the same action twice, so the next action I'm going to do is I'm going to move. Yeah, our kid has been kind of going through a little bit of, of a growth spurt, so not really napping very much. Um, so in terms of picking a game tonight, we picked some, We were trying to pick something a little bit um, easier to like learn and play, which that's the fun part of games. You can just adjust... Mm. Based off of mood. Okay, Andrew, do you want to put the pillow? Uh, Kevin Meeple asks if the playmat comes with the game. It does not. This is a grip mat. Uh, it, I originally purchased it for the X-Wing miniatures game uh, back when I played that more. Uh, and I haven't played anymore, but the first edition, which X-Wing miniatures game is great if you're into miniatures games and the competitive scene. Mm -hmm. uh, it was more competitive, I think, than you than, expected. Than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew, yeah. as an omni gamer, wants to play a lot of different games instead yeah. of diving deep in a couple of games. So um this is uh the nice thing is this mat actually fits the um size requirements for uh <laughs> the this this game, Flick Fleet. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna shoot Andrew, so if oh, okay. you need to put them Oh, I'm gonna hold up the blanket. Forward. Yeah. You know if it goes off after you hit it, you still miss. I know, I'm trying, but you've seen every time I've tried to go a little bit, it you're like barely it in, you're goes. Dialing it in. Okay, I think maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Oh, you only can do one finger. I'm only hitting it with one finger. I'm just going to extend all my fingers. This seems dangerous. Oh okay, that was better. It didn't, hit, <laughs> that didn't so. touch it. <laughs> it wobbled. Okay, I'm figuring it out. I need uh, to do okay. Uh, we got a few things here. Let's go, Caro. Yeah, all the food emotes. The moy pizza is great. Um, then Duke of Frank asked if we can do a peach soju emote. We should. That's a great it. Because we have hungry, so maybe we need thirsty. Although, I don't know what facial expression thirsty would be. That's not the same as hungry, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, um, Kev Meeple, the five finger mat. Yes. yes, I think that's what I'm going to go with, Kev Meeple. That's been the best one so far. <laughs> all right i um oh shoot i haven't been doing the my three hits i do three hits right oh yeah you shoot blue lasers <gasps> okay so all right i well, haven't just we haven't moved on to my turn yet so you well and i don't i think every time i've flicked it it's like gone off the table so i think that's why we haven't done that rule so currently my destroyers have um three shots so here we go. Oh wait, five finger method, as 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 Kev Meeple reminded me. Oh my gosh, two <laughs> and oh, it just bounced above it. It. Curved, it curved around my ship. It curved. What was the movie that did the the bullet that curved? Oh, um, with um, Tumnus. With yeah, Tumnus, yes, uh, with James McAvoy yeah. and someone more famous than him at that moment. Um. Or James McAvoy fan people here. Yeah. Big James um, McAvoy fan. All right. I'm going to... It's not Keanu Reeves, like, bending backwards in Matrix. It's the bullet. Wanted. 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 But who is... Oh, it? yeah. The Moy. Wanted. Angelina Jolie. Yes. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> yeah, she was way bigger at the time. For sure. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Um, <laughs> so that is my destroyer named... Is this the Resistance or is this... The revolution. Yeah. Let's flip it over. Okay, the revolution is losing. Oh, I should have. I've lost my shields. The shields are down. I should have attacked the other one. So, Andrew, is there any way for me to get my shields back or no? Yes, you can use the shield generator action. So I have to roll a five? You just use it. I just, just use, use the action. Just say, I am recharging my shield. I am recharging <laughs> my shields. Yeah, except you've already activated both those. No. Shields, so. <laughs> Okay, Next I, just, turn. I just gotta kill the destroyer yeah. then. Okay. It's I'm, one of your two actions. Okay, I'm sending out my X-Wings. And then I'm going to okay, yeah, five finger. I'm watching that. Oh no. It's okay. But your turn's over. My turn is yeah. over. <laughs> you had to maneuver. Maneuver. And 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 it doesn't hurt you at all. I just end my turn. Oh no, yeah. Unless you declare it as a ramming action. Oh yes. Yeah. We're going to hear Andrew clarify that rule several times tonight. 
you can ram accidentally, but it's just like, oh, we dodged each other. All right. I guess in Rogue One, yeah, it is, I mean, they intentionally do a ramming action. Yeah, they yeah. don't, like, accidentally ram into. Dang it. Um, also, there's friendly fire in this, by the way. Oh, I almost forgot. The Hornist, uh, not the Hornist, Hornist 34, followed us. Dr. Alan Grant comes over and says, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I'm going to go dig up some more dinosaurs. Thanks for the follow. All right. I need to not hit my own ships. This is tough. Th this this gets kind of... Um... Yes! Andrew's yeah. finally... Hit the miss. the miss. <laughs> miss the... Okay. So you... So I have more, like, sh um, sh shots that I can do, but you... You have... Um... A bomber, and I do not have bombers mm -hmm. as part of the alliance. Okay, I am going to, um, um, use my shields. <laughs> I'm going to fix my shields. Moy says, calling up a hammerhead Corvette. I have an idea. <laughs> Rogue One. Love that movie. Are um, the Moy? Are you guys playing Far Away? Question. Um, oh yeah, if anyone's playing anything tonight, uh, let us know. What you're playing along, we love it when people play along with at home if they can. If um, they can play this game or a different game. <laughs> yeah, if you happen to have, if you happen to be like the 500 people in the world that has this, uh, <laughs> no, it's more than that. It's uh, it's actually it's done three Kickstarters yeah. now, and each one I think has been around a thousand. Okay, so how do I? So I'm I'm um, <laughs> everyone, all of my mechanics are down fixing the shields, so they fix them. Right? That's all I, I just declare that. You I mean it's your action. So yeah, you, that's so my you action. can't repeat an action. Okay. So which this, hip are you gonna go first? With? Um I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. This so is one of your actions can be repairing sh uh -huh. shields. And then the other action can be shooting? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Don't mess this up. Destroy your revolution. <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> but it could end up uh, no. Let's throw that one to the chat. Did that hit? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty close. Could you see? <laughs> I need to know. This is one we should use polls. And it's like, did that hit? Well, I have two more shots, right? We'll yeah. let the chat weigh in. Yeah, we'll let the chat weigh in. If you saw it and thought it hit. Okay, that one hit. one hit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if it hits, it removes like this. So for the fighters. Actually, man, it could have just tapped it, but... I feel like that was a definitive hit. <laughs> Kev so, Meeple says it hit. <laughs> Kev Meeple weighs in. He's the first one to say it. Two. Uh, okay. That was your third shot. So depending on... So far we have one vit vote for hit. <laughs> we could just do a poll. Oh, we should. I don't, I don't know if I want to set it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll, take the, we'll take the one vote. Yes. My bomber. I really do think it like rolled and then like rolled back. <laughs> All right, so my eyes in the I sky said yes. Going to spawn my last fighter squadron. And your fighter squadron has to spawn on like touching, touch, touching yeah, your. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I spawn anybody? No, these yeah. are my three. Yeah, we're a small team. Oh. So that do. that is my revolution. Gun. So you hit two. Mm -hmm. <gasps> my guns. So then I remove one. Mm -hmm. Oh, why is there? Three? There should be three. Okay. Wait, I should have that one right there. Okay, that was your turn. That was my turn. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't know why this is still here. <laughs> um, You're thinking about firing me. So I'm gonna go here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shoot here. Okay, and then this is really fun. You get to remove one of the rings. I like. I don't know why, but the pieces of this is like super fun. Um, because at first when I saw the video of how to play, I was like, why are there these giant circles? <laughs> but then the rings like have all these X wings, quote unquote. Definitely not X wings. <laughs> And then um, that's it's my bomber, and my bomber only has one shot. So there we go. All right. 
Let's see. Who's going to go? Who is going to go? Okay. I'm going to go with who I think the guys? 10 to 20 or 10 to 20 time estimate is assuming Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't see what it rolled. Oh, shoot. Do you just want to roll it again? Oh, you know what? It didn't bounce off that. I think it bounced off that, which means it went off the board. So it was a miss. Oh. So is this? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's... Okay. Okay. Dang it. So then Missed. here is... I should have gone for a kamikaze attack. So then I'm going to pop. <laughs> Why did you? Because I don't want to go too far. Oh, okay. And then I you didn't have to move. You could use any of the other. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, well, that's okay. Now I know. And then I'm going to hit that. <laughs> and then another ring of X-Wings goes off. Okay. All right. I'm going to move. So I'm eating my words. I do like dexterity games if there's flicking involved. <laughs> Even if I'm not good at them. Yeah, um... No! <laughs> it's been... Uh, the thing is, kind of, it was like, the whole point of buying this mat was that it's grippy, and so it, it's like, uh, it makes some things easier and some things harder. <laughs> oh my god. But the thing is, you know what, if we did not have it so grippy, I wonder if this would be flying around even more. It probably would be. Yeah. Ooh, Run -A Man Gaming in the house! Hey, Run Gaming. Uh, I want to shout out Runa Man. He is currently running a Kickstarter for a game called Bandada. Actually, let me go find it real quick and put it in chat. Um, which uh, on YouTube we have a playthrough of it. Um, and it's just a fun little dice game. Um, one to two players. Mm -hmm. Um, we're not paid to say any of this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we just really enjoyed it. It's great. It's like a 10 minute game, but wanted to shout shout that out. 10 to uh, 20, right? 10 to 20, yeah, I guess. We're more um, on the 20 slash maybe 30 because we take a long time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, the, um, so I think 17 days left or so of the Kickstarter and it's successfully funded. That's what I was trying to say. It's successfully funded so far. Uh, and now we're just seeing how successful I guess. Yeah. Uh, but So for everyone who's, you know, staying at home and they only got a few people to play or just play, yeah. um, they just have, like if they're looking for a solo yeah. game. It's a great little tactical game. Uh, to grab and play with a significant other or family member, but or solo, yeah. And I know uh, the solo mode's pretty popular. Um, I think, um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> just wanted to do that shout out. We always love love you joining, right, man. Yeah. So let me see. I'm gonna go first with this guy. I'm um. The resistance, the destroyer called the resistance. I'm going to um, fix my shields. Do I fix both or one? One. Okay, that's what I did last time. I didn't want to double check. And then I'm going to attack that guy here. Bye bye. I should have. I should have kind of found you. <laughs> and then my second move, I'm going to hit again for. I'm going to go for this guy. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, Kev Meeple, he reminded me. I'm, we're going with, with this. The five finger flick. That was the, that was the shape of the die. <laughs> and then um, that was the third, the third hit. All right. 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 What am I doing here? Okay. I'm going to go here. I've got no more fighters to... Okay, I'm gonna flick at you. Ooh. Oh, eight's a myth though. Eight is a myth? Yeah. Yes. All right. Action and... stations, action stations. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Set condition? Set condition one throughout the ship. Who knows what that quote's from? I'll, we'll see. 
Let's see. Okay. I'm hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack these guys with the revolution. Destroy a revolution. Ooh, but first I'm going to fix one of my shields. And then I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna get a good position. I'm gonna get multiple points of contact. I'm gonna use <laughs> Roman game said, he's, I just got here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we were playing a, 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 another kind of indie uh, Kickstarter game that we got um, called Flick Fleet. It is a... Or here. It is a... Um, just a small little dexterity game no. where I you mean. flick sheets... Uh, not sheets. Ships around a board. Um, the board, this is ours. It's not part of the game. Um, you flick them around, and then you flick dice at each other, and it's kind of goofy, but also, kind of, you know, strategic. So, it's definitely a fun one. Um, you want to know what's happening, Runa Man? I am rising from the ashes. <laughs> I am <laughs> recovering from a very bad start, and um, okay. there's some movement, and there's some kind of dice-related things where you can like fix your your um ship fix their shields fix their um, fire at... defense that type of thing andrew's playing a little bit more of the, the more complicated empire I'm we've been saying uh -oh. uh -huh. it's like an asymmetrical asymmetrical start where he starts with one ship and i start with three but i only have three yeah, there's a bunch of different scenarios in this too. Uh, I think there's three or four that come with the base game, and then there's an expansion that came with the Kickstarter that has more and things like asteroids and stuff you have to avoid. This is kind of oh deep. my god! You hit your own I ship. hit my own ship. No, <laughs> but it went off. It went off the board. So okay, it's a miss. It's a miss. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so close to my... Can I place it right at the edge over there? Yeah, you can okay. place it anywhere on your... Oh, I only have one shot with this yeah. guy. Trying to cheat. Bummer. All right, next round. But we were... Um, on Thursdays, we've been trying to play some games that we haven't really... Like, we've only played once or have not played before. Um, so this one falls in the have not played before category. Oh. Um, our kid has been... Not sleeping very well, so we were trying to pick a little bit of an easier game. Not very much strategy. A little bit goofy. A little silly. Um, you are the last one to go. Wait, Andrew, why did did you forget to remove one of your command tokens or whatever, action tokens? Uh, it's a new round, so you oh, get nice. to put all your new ones in there. I am looking at, Kevin Meeple says, do you follow the designer Jackson Pope on Twitter? He provides regular updates on the design of Flick Fleet. Oh. I don't. But I am now. Kev Meeple. I should have I should have added him actually when I did this. I added Yuri Dice, which is the publishers. But yeah. thanks for the sh the um info on that. Oh my god. He looks like a good a good follow. So yeah, if you're interested in following this, I think he he's kind of done. I think the business model is like Just basically one thinking. Kickstarter a year, and then you that which funds enough for production run. Of it and uh, fulfillment's pretty quick as Kickstarter go. Oh man, hey, it's a miss. It's a nine. Is it nine? Is a miss? Oh my. Yeah. Okay, so one. Oh shoot. Oh. My. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. I love to see it. Andrew. <laughs> it's always funny. Oh, it's another miss. It's a club. Oh no. So anything oh, above a seven is a miss. So these are the lasers that are less good, I guess. Um, it's tricky because the um, my the, the resistance. I like to think the narrative is that we are ragtag group with bad re with limited resources. Ooh, a five. Inferior ships. Take your take that shield off. Take so shield off. what is that one? Resistance. Is it so the five. Oh, does that thing have two? Yeah. Dang. Um, yeah, limited resources, um, inferior ships, and therefore we have to roll the D... Is this D10? Uh, no, D10s are lasers and D6s are nukes. And so... Uh, but the D10s are a little bit wily. They're a little harder to... 
<laughs> to shoot with accuracy. We, we both have them. So just, it's just depends on... Oh, yeah, where's your bonkers? I thought they used those. You blew them up? Oh. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> where's your bombers, Andrew? Okay. Yes, there is friendly fire. Which is it's a... devastating. <laughs> Um, which is actually, it's a really fun, it's a, it's a fun thing to make it, um, kind of spice it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Five finger flick and actually, huh, I'm going to go for that one instead. Oh my gosh. It jumped above. <laughs> it went off the table. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you going to move? Um, all I can do is shoot, right? Oh, I guess you I can, can move. You can two actions. For each ship. No, I. Um, but they can, you can't repeat the same action. That's the idea. I think it's. I think that pattern is good. It's the flying V. Mm. If the if it helps the mighty ducks, it will help my. Ooh. Done. So then, when that, my um, fighters get hit, you just remove the ring. Oh. <gasps> oh. No, I didn't think about doing that. Running away? <laughs> the strategist in me just doesn't want to move because <laughs> the um the like execution is really poor. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm moving this guy and we're going. Know your up strengths. Know your strengths. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and shoot at that guy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Oh. No. <laughs> that means my turn is over. Yeah. No. If, if you have a collision, then your turn's over. But do we? Do I do any damage to no. my? Okay. Oh my gosh! I didn't. I'm very bad at this game. No. Or I'm pretty good. I don't know. I mean, you're winning right now. You have two ships alive. Okay. All right. So, um. Let's see. You go first, or I do. You do. You okay. Do. I'm just. Okay. I'm going to go, see, this is the exact same thing. I'm not sure if I want to do this, but I'm going to try. There, and then, Ooh. oh gosh, there, yes. Oh, shield damage. Oh my gosh, your ship is so strong. Because I have to hit it <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six more times, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought, man, this game, we are really slow at this game. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. All right. I'm going to. Go this guy, and he is going to fire at your thing. Yeah. Oh, I am not thinking about like how I'm completely open to get attacked. <laughs> it's your okay. Turn. Let's see. Do you? Um. If anyone in chat has played this or played. I don't know, X-Wings or any other kind of skirmish games, space skirmish games. Shout them out in the chat which one's your favorite or love to love to hear. Or just dexterity game. <laughs> no, rolling. I keep rolling, keep rolling high numbers. <laughs> okay, so that's my first. Mm -hmm. Um, let's try again. My ships get three shots unless they're more damage. So oh my gosh. That Two. And that would have hit if it actually made contact. There you go. That's a hit. Mm. You're gonna make me take an action to charge my shield. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move out of the way here. I, I came maybe a little too far off to the side. <laughs> Coming back. And. Brick! Oh my god, that was so close. It's so close. Oh my goodness. This is, you know what? I do understand why people like dexterity games. It's just light, you know? Like yeah. Andrew and I were talking about like why you play games. Like sometimes you want to be immersed in a different story or a different world. Sometimes you want to um like get lost in a puzzle. Um or sometimes you just wanna play something silly. Um, it's like, I don't know why, but like as an adult, like flicking is like such a funny motion. <laughs> yeah. How, how many times as an adult do you get to flick something? 
Yeah. <laughs> I think like, I mean, playing paper football is like the last thing. And then I played marbles when I was growing up. So that's definitely. Oh, yeah. oh I got distracted. Ruel did point out that uh, Runner Man did hit the final stretch goal. Ooh. Today. Uh, magnetic box cover, which oh, I love wow. that like little, little snap on those boxes. That's a great upgrade. That's a great one because especially, um, um, I should have, uh, fixed my shields first before starting to shoot, but that's a great one because I can see that game being something you carry around and like play mm -hmm. when you're like waiting Special. for your train or whatnot. So like a really good, um, container for it <laughs> to a really good container for it is a nice addition. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It jumped right over it. <laughs> How does it keep doing that? And there's no gravity, what is it? Gravity waves on that. I don't think so, yeah. That, that was all you, that, that was, was all, all you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what's coming up here. You're going first. I keep thinking I'm going first. Okay. Go. I'm gonna go here, uh -oh. and then I'm gonna go. Oh my gosh. And then I guess for my next turn, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay there. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to. Um... Yeah, we've definitely been looking more at our like fast setup games or our 10 to 20 minute type of game. Someone in the stream, um, it might have been Griff Dog, had suggested we get um, Shot and Totten, which is a re, I don't know, uh, not reprint, but like a re, oh, can you hit both of mine? No, it's, it's, oh, the, it's the first. That would be super cool. Oh, bye. Finally, you have one fighter's. And you killed two of mine and brought one of them down to one health in the time that. Oof. Okay. Um, but yeah, we got really into Shot and Totten after Griff Dog's suggestion. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to first um, fix my shields. Revolution. Revolution, going to get another. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I keep rolling. I, you hit my fighter though. Oh, okay. So I think that handled it. I I can hit that one for with any die. Yeah, all oh, it's oh. always if a dice hits a fighter, then it hits. Oh, it always. Um, hits. but for the because there's the different hit locations on a, a ship. Oh, okay. That only go up to six. That's your it's the Battlestar Galactica, or it's yeah. not the Battlestar Galactica. It's yeah. the um. We can, you're the we, bad can, guy. we can make this Battlestar Galactica team. Who's um, the Cylon? You are definitely the, the Cylon. This is the the base star? The, uh, yeah, that's definitely the base star. Your turn. Uh, all right, so I've got one more. Just this one ship. Got this one ship. Broadside view right now. I'm gonna. Go. <gasps> right. And. <laughs> Gosh, now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. I think there's something very inherently comedic about like flicking something and it barely moves. Yeah. Like I think <laughs> it's because it's, it's it's like it's such a small difference in muscle use mm -hmm. to a really hard flick and a small flick that it's like there's no way to really be super accurate. Although I know I think Ruel has said he really loves Crokinole, which is a flicking game, so there's got to be uh, some skill to it, I'm sure. Or, like, you can get better at it. Oh, I'm gonna um, fix my shields here before I do that. Resistance. I hate your shields. Where is my... Oh, I should have... Oh, my gosh. So, one... Next round. Off the board. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I go first, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, all my shields are fixed. Thank you, mechanics.
Can I add red things to I know? Ah, uh, yes. Yep, one I one hit. shot per round. Just, oh, you know what? You lost. This one should only be shooting twice because I already damaged your, your guns. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's okay. You hit? I did hit. With a two. With, with a revolution. It's my fighter base, which I guess yeah. is less important because. And that's my turn. Mm hmm. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. Sorry. Okay. I am going to. You've been cheating. I didn't I'm know. Repair my shield. Accidental cheating. So if Pia hits with a two or a three now, uh, she kills my ship. Really? Yeah. That's all it takes. No way. Oh, yes. Dang. And the thing is, there's no gravity fields to be <laughs> um, messing with. Okay. I think we're down to the wire here. Yeah. Start playing the Bowstar Galactica, you know, bagpipe, bagpipe. band. The Lee Adama and, and Admiral Adama is connecting. No. Yes, oh. contact made four. Did I win? No, you have to hit oh. now it's two, three, or four. Two, three, or four. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then um, one more. Resistance, right? The resistance can hit for three. Yep. Andrew's checking the rule book, He's trying to see if he can survive. Mm -hmm. Two. Oh, you win. Get a name. Oh my gosh, okay. I eat my words. I do like dexterity games. <laughs> they're fun. They're very dramatic. Um, they're very frustrating and also very satisfying. Dude, Frank, what up? All right, I'm checking oh, see no. if I can relaunch my fighter bait. I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. And Duke and Frank, we um I was talking about Shot and Totten, which is a re I don't know what the term is, but it's like Battle Line, which we know is a favorite of um your guys's. Okay. I read it correctly originally. Okay, I shouldn't be looking at the rules. Do you want okay. to switch sides? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, our names are gonna be That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that oh, that wasn't working. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. I was okay. trying to figure that out a little bit. What is it called? It's called Shot and Totten, which is a it's a um what's the term? It's a like a Scottish theme, but we're gonna play it probably after this because it is we're just playing quick. some we're playing some like twenty twenty minute type of games tonight. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm playing your character. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't want to be the Empire. I don't want to be bad. <laughs> you just start with the one capital ship, though. Okay. Uh, uh, about five centimeters. Okay. Like, half a finger left. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Ish. It's oh, an oh, estimate. Yeah, sure. There we go. Perfect. All right, uh, and then I go first. Yes, shot and totten. I don't shot know what that. Do you know what that means? I don't. Empire did nothing wrong. Yeah, I, and they <laughs> got <laughs> punished for it. They got punished for it. I need to have my comeback here. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, we gotta put our. Oh yeah, our cues. Um, the ships. Okay, starting with my fighters. Duke of Frank says, Empire did nothing wrong. They just wanted to build a space station. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of, like, in, um, what's that? In How I Met Your Mother, when, um, <laughs> Barney thinks that, um, the Cobra Kai are the good guys. <laughs> Which, um, the stand-up comedian Gary Goldman had a really funny joke about how when you rewatch um, Karate Kid, you actually realize that, um, the Karate Kid is such a big crybaby. Um, and so you're kind of rooting for the Cobra Kai when you're older, um, which I always thought was a funny <laughs> a funny twist. Okay, I'm gonna go... Oh, actually, I'm gonna launch, so I'm gonna launch a, a fighter bay, right? Mm -hmm. Oops. So that's my first move? Mm -hmm. Does it have to touch it at any, like... Just as long as it's touching it, yeah. And you can put a cube on it. Comes ready to ready to fight. They're oh. ready. Action stations. Action stations. 
I'm gonna Ooh, just move this for. Ho! And I only have one shot. Oh, okay. but bummer. Okay. Oh, I get three shots. This is so nice. Okay. It's pretty. Um, the carrier. Yeah, the carrier is definitely. <gasps> oh, that ship died. <laughs> <laughs> No! The ship is gone. It fell in my shoe. <laughs> okay. Um, I was like, I'm going to go all the way across the map. And... It literally is out of the game. Yeah, it died. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> I love that. I feel bad because you didn't get a chance to kind of practice with those guys. That's okay. Okay. All right. Fighter, fighter. Um, where is it? Leodama and um, Starbuck. We're gonna go out, and then they're gonna shoot. Oh my god! <laughs> Andrew's always funny. Andrew Snicker is probably my one of my favorite thing about games. I'm competitive, and I don't like when he wins, but his Snicker is always very entertaining. No. Oh yes. Oh. Um, Kevin He's... Beagle says they expand on the Cobra Cop. In that, in the Cobra Kai, the, oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, I know. I heard really good things about the show. Uh, um, is it is it just one season, Cobra Kai? I think it's like three. Or oh, I might be in, I might be watching that. Um, so then it's a restart, right? Did yeah. you get three shots with your little guy with the resistance? Oh no, I just got one. Thanks for the reminder. I'm trying to be, you know, fair. <laughs> This they is... are harder to flick because they're shit. Yes. Yeah, the... Okay. Oh. Hey. One damage. One okay. damage. Um, for my next turn. Oh wait, so we're gonna put these out, right? Yeah, I can't believe I like completely. Uh, that was that's probably my favorite moment of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming in. Just coming in really bleeding. hot. Okay. The it's the righteous it's the righteous um what is it um. Oh no 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 no. Oh, yes! He missed! They're D10s. They're like footballs. They bounce everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna pull this guy out. And then I'm gonna pull that. And then I only have one move, right? I have two moves for these guys. Two actions. Two actions, so then I'm so gonna... So move and a fire. I'm gonna move. Whoa! Whoa. That, that was close. <laughs> I missed this guy. Makes the movie better. Oh, Kev Meeple. This is uh like a um like a hidden backstory in a um one in a classic oh, wait, that was a is very very motivating. Yeah. Keep rolling. Okay, my turn. Seven of the book. Can I so I'm gonna send out my can I do another fighter bay? Yeah, you have two. Okay, I'm gonna do. What's the difference between a bomber bay and a fighter bay? Um, mm -hmm. the shape and the thing that they fire. So the bombers fire the eights, which are the D sixes. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one of these. And they're gonna. They seem actually. You know what? I and am... you can only flick these um from the back. Back. Okay. So that was my first action, and then my next action is to fire. Can I move this for a moment? Okay, five. Yes. Is that oh, hit? Oh, that's a hit. Yes. Which guy is this? This is the, the resistance. resistance. It's a shield. Okay. Um, they, oh. oh, I only have one shot. Yeah. Oh, I'm so used to it. Okay. And then the next one? No, no, I have this guy now. Oh, yeah. I removed it for, for purposes. Okay, so I'm going to send a nuke out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bummer. I thought that these would be easier. Okay. Alright, you have more tips, so you start. Alright, I'm gonna send my nukes out. Okay. Please, please, please. Oh no. <laughs> and then for my I, it's having the position of your ship is really important. It's a lot harder to hit. Straight on like that, huh? Yeah, I probably should have done that or something. Anyways, um, that's my move. turn. You can move. You have one more action. I'm scared of like 
something new? Yeah. Let's see. I I know my strengths and weaknesses. So. I need to not be afraid of moving because I it's just like the perfect position. Yikes. So then one piece. I really like these pieces, these like little plastic acrylic pieces. Mm -hmm. They're very fun. Um go here. Um, what's the tone of Cobra Kai? Because when I saw it, I assumed it was a comedy, but then things that I've seen about it oh. makes me doubt that. It's a comedy. I mean, the original wasn't a comedy, so I, I don't know why I'm assuming it's a comedy, but anyways, a, for maybe, anyone who's watched it. Maybe a dramedy? Yeah. Let me know. The thing is, Kev Meeple, we're probably going to figure this question out very soon, because I'm yes. planning on watching Cobra Kai right after this. Um, oh! Four. Four. A shield. So four. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, could I fix my shield? Wait. You can spend an action to, yeah. Okay. Did I lose one shield already? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Five. Five. That's your shield, shield generator. generator. No! Yes. Oh, no. This very is bad. a very bad... Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. I think that would be a five. I'm dead, uh, right? Yeah, I don't know. We can move these and then... Yeah, that would be a five. five. So since I didn't have that spot anymore, if Andrew hit another five, he'd be dead. Oh, <gasps> so I'm just I don't have my main base anymore. <laughs> That's I'm. It's like makes me very scared. These these triple guns on the okay. This works. is a really awful position. But so I can't generate any more people. My resurrection ship is gone. <laughs> This is not ideal. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! There's infighting. <laughs> Hitting your own ships. Oh no! So I lose my. Oh my gosh! Friendly fire. <laughs> I've lost two ships to friendly fire. I mean, I lost a ship to friendly fire too, but it was just them flying off the edge of the map. They they were like um what is it um what's the they're 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 firing up their um Ooh, I gotta go first. FTL drives and then they like just shot themselves into <laughs> the middle of a sun. Yeah. Kev Meeple says very much a drama with a lot of comedy. It's a comedy kind of um it's kind of fake, cheesy, intense at times. Popcorn fair for sure. Johnny is the most interesting character. There is this there was a spy on the ship. Definitely Kev Meeple. That's the narrative for sure. <laughs> oh man, I I'm kind of wanting some like some cheesy, intense, like that type of like show, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, that's good to know, since because yeah. you were like thinking it might be too serious. This 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 game is going so much faster than last time. Yeah, it can. It can move pretty quick. Okay. Let's see. We had a raid last time, too. Oh. Did you hit my ship? I, I looked away. I didn't. I don't know. Can I just do it again? Because it looks like it could have and it could have oh, not. Okay. So I'm not sure. I was looking away. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> there, the problem with these dice is that they kind of like roll around. And mm -hmm. so unless it like fully taps it. <laughs> it's like a football. Okay. Andrew's gonna get me off the ship or off the mat. Off the mat. Okay. Oh no. Three. Oh, it's on the mat. <laughs> but it's six. Yeah, six is fine. And for oh. fighters, anything to hit. Oh right? no, yeah. okay. Start playing the bagpipes. We did. Oh, oh yes. Miss. I won. Oh. <laughs> Good game, Andrew. So we are. Uh oh, we're tied. We're tied. So how would we? How would we? Um. Left hand, playing. I think the other side take forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, can we flip back? Yeah, we can flip back. Okay. 
Maybe the alliance is just this game is bent towards the alliance. This is the introductory scenario, so I don't know. I mean, I would assume it's balanced, but um, did you read any of the other scenarios? Like, what is it? What are the other scenarios like? Uh, look like? yeah, let's take a look. Is it just like where they start, or like which ships start in this thing? Um, there is one where you both start with just the center part of a fighter. And then, um, you're both firing at different things on the map and whatever you, it's like how many points you can get. So you're not directly killing each other in that one. Um, and then there's one with a neutron star in the middle. Um, a new shot star. Yeah. And then there's one where it's just the big ship against a bunch of fighters. Yeah, I mean, there's some interesting scenarios in here. Um, but they seem a little bit more involved than just a simple... Oh, yeah. Like, no, no. I wouldn't suggest like, it. I was just wondering what, what to expect. Three, mm. four, five. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Ready? You start. Here we go. Don't go off. <laughs> Just gentle. Be very, very gentle. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. One, two. <laughs> All right. Oh, I am our going beard to needs to switch. Oh, we do. Uh, I'm going to spawn the bombers. Is there a reason why you don't really buy dexterity games? Uh, I don't know anyone that likes them. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Andrew um, usually is getting games with someone specific in mind. We don't really have a lot of friends. We have a Jenga set um, from our mm -hmm. wedding. It was our our, um, our guest, or what is it, guest book? Yeah, we had everyone sign in the Jenga pieces. And um, is it your turn or my turn? Your turn. Okay. Um, but we um, have a role playing game that uses the Jenga pieces. It's like a horror. Um, right? Is it the horror necessarily, or yeah. is it yeah? It's called Dread. Yeah. Whoa! From, from across a, the map. From across the map. Oh, that felt really good. <laughs> oh, you haven't even done anything. All right, so my turn. You created, are you like um launched ships? But yeah, so this role playing game is a jeng. Like you tell a story, and then you whatever you have to do, some sort of task that could fail or succeed, you have to pull a jenga piece out, and so. If you pull the Jenga piece and the Jenga tower falls down, then your character dies. Um, so it's a fun way of doing like success failure in a role playing game that's not super, super complicated with a lot of um rules and stuff. Um, rules it's, quick. it's a called lot of... uh, definitely a horror game, it's called Dread, and uh, there's a bloody hand. On the print on, printed on the book um dread but yeah it's it's very very cool we did it uh for a friend's birthday we made it a little less horror -y. it was more indiana jones themed and uh there were some really great moments someone sacrificed themselves for someone else by knocking over the jenga tower it was a very dramatic was very dramatic. sacrificial move by um by duca frank let's see I'm going to, I don't need a heal. Oh my gosh. This is a terrible spot to shoot. Okay. No, 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 I still have to go. Oh yeah, your second action. I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend the bullet. I'm gonna curve the bullet. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh, not bad. That's better oh. than my other ones. One. Oh. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I'm bending the bullet. And oh, Duke of Frank is the one 
who sacrificed himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the chat saying good times. It was. That was a that was a particularly fun one. Although it was it is a little lame, I think, to be out of the game. So I think Not the game escalates each time if someone dies, the tower gets starts off taller. Um, but if you die too early, then you have to sit in the line. So I don't know if it was fun for you, but uh But it was I, memorable I, I, for us. It was memorable for us. Ooh. <laughs> so your turn ends right yeah, there. Yeah, my turn ends. All right. Oh man, and I'm just gonna kill it. Watch this. Okay, this is very exciting because I'm gonna take this guy, and then I'm gonna go. Whoop. There's one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I get to choose your. Phone. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's my little one. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to make my choices for me. And then, um, your turn, right? Uh, you can move if you like. Mm, I'm fine. And I'm going to score one there. And is this what I really want to be doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What am I thinking? This guy's about to die over here. <laughs> leave him to die? <laughs> How could I do that to myself? Alright, I am going to go with this guy. So I can only flick it on that side. Alright, so I'm going to start off. Oof. I want to see a tournament of this game, like of people who are good at this game, not <laughs> us. <laughs> there probably is one. I think they're in, uh, from England. Uh, from the UK. Um. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go with this guy. I'm going to, um, the resistance is going to fix their shields. And then they're gonna aim at this bomber. One. Oh. And ah. Oh. oh, you know, I think I rolled the wrong die, didn't I? Oh shoot. Oh, do you want to redo it? Can you do it? Oh, it's 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 okay. You were like right next to me. Um Yes! Oh. The bullet bent. <laughs> okay, and then I can see now what the strategy is. It's like, I should have shot that guy probably. But, I mean, you, then you would have moved this guy and he would have been a harder hit anyways, so. Okay, and then this guy. <laughs> oh, does this guy need any, the revolution does not need any shield fixing. Uh, I hate those guys. But you're probably right. Hit it. Five. Mm. One. They're fighters. Oh my gosh! Right down the middle. <laughs> the three, Two. the three flicks of those guys is brutal. Ah. Oh, three. Okay. Okay. I am going to spawn. Oh my gosh. My final fighter squadron here. I I am really liking this game. I. I guess it's just like I always think I'm like we're gonna play a puzzly game or we're gonna play a like a high interaction game, mm -hmm. you know, or like a Euro game. Well, that's puzzly, but this is this this fits a very nice like space. A unique space. Yeah. Hey. Did you hit this guy at all? No, I haven't okay. been over there at all. There she is. Okay. Oh, and I go first. Oh, because you have more, more pieces. More dudes on the map. Okay. Uh, this is something um, Andrew and I sometimes talk about games that, like, require very few, uh, like, not that they have few rules, but someone can watch and, like, watch it played and then figure out basically how to play it. 
I feel like this is a type of game that you could just watch and figure it out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's that sucks. That guy is so small. <laughs> um, I do like how the fighters get so tiny as you. I'm going to go with um, the resistance. I'm going to go here. Whoa, you flick that from, like, here. You can only flick from the back end. Oh. Remember, remember. it's, like, this side. Or the oh, side. sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I guess then. <laughs> it's what makes it awkward switching them. Yeah. I know. That's better for you. <laughs> That's oh no, I'm on a gravity a gravity line or whatever. Can I just push it down? Oh, oh. it jumped it. Okay, one. That hits. Oh. But no, it doesn't. Oh, no, it is. It, it is. Because hit, there are always hits. On oh, okay. Matters. And then my final hit. Oh my gosh, it's going to go across the... Oh, I had this vision that it would just bullseye, but it did not. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run away. Run away. Okay. I'm gonna fall. My um, fighters are gonna follow after you. Oh my god. <laughs> They're so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shoot over there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you might want to start carrying your blanket up oh, <laughs> at this point. Yeah. All right, my fighters are coming out. They're moving. They're moving. Oh, Whoa, that was a good one. Whoa. Break. That was a, a cheating. <laughs> no, I don't know. There's nothing in the rule book that said you couldn't have, you know. Have you read the rule book? In intergalactic <laughs> um, interference. <laughs> um, when I played basketball in school, um, like on the playground, all I would do would, would be just making those weird... <laughs> <laughs> those just being like frick I'm just like, like i'm just like not very good at any of the um like basketball at all okay let me go here you're good at i um your bricks heckling heckling the the players one, one. that feels so good oh, this is bad two this is really bad oh yeah wow Murdered my oh, my whole the three shots is just brutal. <laughs> I was wondering. I uh, Kevin Meeple said a lot of micro wormholes affecting s h i t s. I said, "Whoops, shots." <laughs> I didn't let it through uh, because, because we I, trusted you. Kevin we trusted Meeple. that you meant something else. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Andrew is the king of bad typing on his phone. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Whoa. That shouldn't have... It's okay. Are you okay with that? Sorry. Yeah. I don't know why that die was still there. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so that's my um, revolution. Okay. That's the end of the, the turn. Yeah, that nice. Okay. From four ships to two now. Um, Man, the fighters are so squishy. I feel like if there's a way, um, Moy, if you're still here. <laughs> yellow card. Stupid Frank. <laughs> Throw out the yellow card. Moy, if you're still here, I feel like uh, um, something with the the October cabin that has like a flicking game would be very funny to watch. I was going to bring this to the October cabin. Oh man, it's so silly. It's so silly, but also like I have it has a lot of tension. Um <laughs> yeah. that is like I specifically was like, this is gonna be a lot of fun to play October Cabin with the boy, with Kyle, with Brian. Yeah. There's I think there's something because I thought you know what I thought about Dick I'll probably Party game? lose all the pieces by the end of the weekend. <laughs> But you know what? I think maybe my bias against dexterity games was I thought that it would be 
like either you're just really good at it or really bad at it. And I feel like I've had really good moves and really bad moves. Mm. And so the, there's like a tension that's like, I know I can make this move, but yet I keep missing. <laughs> and so, and then there's times where I surprise myself. So I think maybe that's why, I don't know. I think this dexterity game is definitely like surprising me. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a watch, pick up the rules, and then play. Uh, the Moy says, I'm for it. Some of the best games are the ones you start playing and people want to join after seeing. And I bet this would be one. Like, yeah, this is definitely like, what are they doing over there? <laughs> That's a- it's like what Running Man said. It's like, what's happening? <laughs> All right. I shot at that and I missed. And I shouldn't have shot with that. And I regret it. Mm. <laughs> oh, and I can move. I can move. Oh, yeah, you can move. And I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm running away, which is not a, a strategy that I really employ a whole lot, but I should do it. But it's the same way when I play racing games, like Mario Kart. <laughs> is that what you wanted to do? Was yeah, it, I yeah. Okay. I, I didn't want Mario Kart, and I like never use the brake. Ooh, Aha, two. Well, that's, that's a hit. I and, didn't hit that zero there, so you don't oh. get your shield. Ooh, okay. Um, my. Oh, your last shield. Oh. Why didn't I fix that revolution? Okay. My turn. Mm-hmm. I'm going to fix that shield. Gosh, I hate that you are always doing that. I don't have enough guns to ever stop you from that. Okay. That's the shield. No, that's us. That's us. Oof. <laughs> yes. No. Oh, that's, six oh, that's it. That's a six. Yeah. That's a six. six is good. Six is okay. Good. I almost think my so oh my, I know my fires <laughs> so light when they're tiny so they're gone they're gone they set their FTL <laughs> to somewhere <laughs> they just jumped out to a, to another galaxy okay I'm going here I need to move myself I need to get out of this like warped gravity line. Technically, I think you can only flick on that. Oh, line. shoot. Did that, I do that again? Well, you flicked in that, like, in that rough divot? there. Yeah. It, I can it, do it again. It's, no, it's fine. it's fine. I can do it again. Are you sure? It's fine. Yeah. No. If I'm going to win. You are, like, over here. Okay. Okay, so that's what it is. Wait. Okay. Yeah, you cheated that first game, so. I didn't realize. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Miss. I didn't realize. I actually, it makes a lot of sense why you can't hit it. It's like specific in a certain way. I just don't really like. Oh. Feels... I don't really um, uh, think oh. about it. Okay. Oh my gosh! <gasps> I just whipped it. <laughs> oh, that's my guns. All right. Next round. And I feel. The, the rebels are too strong. They do feel very strong. Um, I don't know anything start. about OP stuff. I'm not very good at judging balance. <laughs> um, the I'm... three shots is really what do- does it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Because you can kill a whole fighter squadron in one turn. Three. Hasta la vista. Oh my gosh, I should not have said that. Bone John's here. Hey, hey Bone John. 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 We are playing a game that has been in our collection for. Yes. And he's dead. And I won. <laughs> so we are playing a game that's been in our collection for about six months and we hadn't played it. It's a dexterity game. We're not really big dexterity game people. But I am one over because I just won two out of three games. <laughs> GG. Good yeah. job. Oh, um, I think we're going to do a wind down round of Shot and Totten. Um, so we're going to get set up with that. It's going to take about a second here. So bear with us. Um, yeah. You, uh, Bones John, you got to see just the end of the game. Um, but I'm just going to lower the this real quick. Ooh. It's 
Man, when it zoomed in like that, it kind of looked like you were, um, what's it called? It was, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we can move this probably to get a little better angle. Maybe. Just maybe. But then there's all this stuff right here, Andrew. Uh, yeah, it might be avoiding it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's close. Because you really have to see my face during shot and talk. Yeah, apparently. it's important. <laughs> While you do that, should I um, set it up? Well, yeah. Sean, were you the one who suggested shot and talk to us? Or I'm trying to think if it was either you or Griscoff. It was definitely someone to chat. So we've been playing games that we've owned for a little while and hadn't played. played. Mm -hmm. Um... And since it, we just played kind of, ooh, ooh I'm knocking things up. a silly, um, but with some, a little bit of strategy. I don't know if I was strategizing very much. Um, yeah, you look fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. And okay. I'm like. Super low now. Reset. Reset. Game change. And. So this is the game. I don't know if I'm showing it correctly. Um. There we go. Shot and totten. So also AKA battle line. Uh, there's two versions of the game. One of them is battle line. This one is shot and totten. Um. And um, it has a chicken on the top of a ruin, and um, and it has a little hat <laughs> <laughs> for those. Um, it's uh, a Rainer Knizia game. Mm -hmm. Kill or be killed is what they say. <laughs> uh, so basically, what we do is we have a hand of cards and we are playing cards one at a time on the end one side on our side of each of these stones um sorry it's a little bright for the stones actually do you want mind moving the light back a little bit um the cords are all crazy right now but um oh that is in front of you what if i turn it off yeah actually just turn that one off you're good um, and, uh, so you play the cards and if you don't have any sort of pattern on your side, um, you win by the, um, oh shoot, the red cards are mixed in there. Do you want me to look for them? I think I can do it. We will see. Um. Oh, I should have drank a wingman. Um. Since we were playing a space that, game that with was, that's why bombers. I picked the man. Yeah, that makes sense. I just wanted the IPA because it sounded good at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I got all the right ones. Here we go. So you play cards one at a time on your side. Uh, so something like this. And there's six different suits or colors, and then um. As soon as there are three cards on both sides, you score that stone. And so um, in this case, uh, because there's no pattern, um, it would just be the sum total of the numbers. So uh, 11, right? But uh, if this was, let's say, um, a run of a the run, same color. So one, two, and three, uh, that would that would beat this one because this is this is there's no pattern on this either way so there's a hierarchy um that you can't really see in this card but generally speaking <laughs> it's if it's just three random cards that's the lowest on the to on the hierarchy then up from that is a run so any ascending or descending numbers then um three color three cards of the same color is above that 
three of a kind is above that and then three a run of the same color is the best combination that you can do so they're kind of like poker-ish hands um, but you always compare them straight across from each other in this case pia would win the stone um, and your goal is to either get five stones or get three stones that are next to each other so um pretty straightforward and we'll kind of we'll talk out our turns uh at the start so that you guys can follow along if you'd like um but oh can you i have a question can yeah. you change the name of our stream midstream yes so it says shot and totten instead of flick fleet because mm -hmm. this ain't no flick fleet <laughs> you're correct <laughs> uh i will update you if you want to shuffle this um, Amanda Panda had talked in her stream about if you ever like shuffle in piles, and I mm. definitely shuffle. Or actually, um, it was Book of Nerds who explained that the term was pile shuffling, which I never knew. I just thought it was the way you shuffle when you don't know how to shuffle. <laughs> um, but I think it was Akilaverse who had mentioned that um, maybe it was them that if um, like if the, the depending on the type of card it can be hard to do the standard shuffle um, shot and taught and i don't know if that's visible but i exclusively pile shuffle i did learn a few years ago how to shuffle regularly but i'm still very bad at it so i'm very nervous to like oh there it is some people uh cringe anytime someone does the shut the like the, this yeah because it damages cards oh um so how is so, it usual how do people usually shuffle the right way uh pile, pile shuffle? shuffle or just like uh the like you know like a big mix yeah. whoa that seems bad too because you're just like sliding it like yeah if you have sleeves i think the mixing is easier oh but... i'm very bad at shuffling the i don't know what's that term the the what that term is when you shuffle with that part. <laughs> Bones just sorry, what's pile shuffling? So pile shuffling is like when you create a number of piles and just um, go around like that. Um, I think pile shuffling is the least randomized way to do it. Oh, really? Um, um, I saw there's a YouTube video um, that shows uh, how randomized a deck gets depending on how you shuffle it the ruffle shuffle the ruffle shuffle or whatever rifle? You call it, rifle shuffle i think it's rifle uh mathematically seven times uh creates a random deck so you have to shuffle it seven times to get a truly random deck son of a math teacher son of a math teacher right here um and then uh the uh pile shuffle i don't know how many times but um it's just generally less random and then the whatever <laughs> that one, it I think it depends on how long you do that, but uh, that also is pretty random. Um, but again, if you just like do this, then it's not gonna. I feel like that is also dependent on like what your table is like and whatnot. Yeah, totally. Um, it depends on the game. What? Oh, I'm not counting right here. Four, five. Six. It depends on the game, what what type of shuffle I do. If it's like a card game like this, which is like 10 bucks, and uh, you shuffle it once a game, I'm going to do the rifling shuffle. Um, but if it's like a deck builder, I'll do the pile shuffle, just because the cards would get really worn out pretty quickly. Oh, I see. Shuffling it so much. Yeah. Um, Bon John says, uh, the big mix is called the Vegas Shuffle. I thought, oh, oh. Big, yeah. We are not big Vegas people or like gamblers. <laughs> We're not we, we don't go to casinos and stuff. So uh, I've been once and I felt completely like I didn't confused. know. I was very confused by everything. There's like a whole language and world in there that's probably as confusing as board game world is to them. Uh, oh, yeah. But yeah, I didn't understand anything that was going on. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of terms like that. But... The Vegas, so the Vegas shuffle is the, um, like this. Is that it, Bones uh, John? Penn and Teller call it the Vegas shuffle, mm. and the other one is the Riffle shuffle. Yeah. Mm. So. 
The, most of the time, is I, it the I, ruffle shuffle or the ruffle? Right? Riffle shuffle. Ripple, ripple. Riffle. That makes no yeah. sense. I thought you were, it kind of sounded like you were saying riffle, which reminded me of truffle shuffle from <laughs> Goonies, which yeah. was in another chat. People were talking from another stream I was in. They were talking about Goonies. Um, but, oh, yeah. Okay, you go first. I will go first. So the colors, uh, I always like to comment on the colorblindness uh, of a game, but. The colors in this are pretty similar, but every card has a symbol as well, which is nice. So it's not too difficult to tell. All right. So what just happened is I played a six. So Pia doesn't know what other cards I'll play here. Pia played a four here. So she, Pia could have a three and a five, which could make this a run. She could have anything. I don't know what she's going for there. So um, it's tough. To try to challenge her there yet. Um, but I could put one card down. Because um, she doesn't know what I have. I don't know. This is a game I can I can see like my mom really liking. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. there's a very confusing rule in this game that says if you can prove that the other person cannot beat your challenge uh then you win the stone uh and it took me a while to figure out what that meant but it's like you have to be thinking because there's only one card of each in the game so there's only one six blue one one seven blue one eight red so on and so forth and so you can, near the end of the game, you can math out whether or not someone will win a stone or not before all the cards have been played. Yeah, Kevin Meeple says there's a shot in Totten 2, but I don't know much about it. I, oh. uh, yeah, Duke of Frank, that rule can be so clutch. It can be very cool. Uh, you can manipulate that rule too, because it is only based off of what's out on the board. And so I've won a stone because um, one of, Pia's needed a one and I had the one and so I played I had the rest of the ones and I just played those ones and uh and then I won won that round because I could prove it since it was on the board. You ran you won that stone, you mean? Yeah, I won that stone. And probably uh, that round. <laughs> I think it was for the round actually. <laughs> um Moy says, I think far away is named that way because you will be far away from fitting everything in the box when you put it away. Yeah, mine didn't quite fit super well. <laughs> How did your game go? Did you, yeah, did you beat the monster? Win? Did you lose? Did, did you, you get really lonely and um, couldn't find... Or... Legends DM in the house. Legend SDM. That's uh, right. Yes. Say it right. <laughs> How's it going, man? Uh, we just woman? put... I guess I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we just played, um, Flick Fleet, and then we're playing this game now, yeah. and I want to report that I won Flick Fleet, even though it was a rough start at the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> which is a dexterity game that we had for about six months and had never played. Um, oh, it is Legends DM. Okay. Uh, I don't, I couldn't tell if you were joking. There was another chat we saw you in, and someone was asking if it was Legends DM or if it was Legend SDM, and at some point... I thought we had seen SDM, but anyways, we like to we like to um sow rumors yeah. on our stream about incorrect pronunciations of other people's names. Um, the um someone had asked us if our name was Board Games Pam, and I was like, that is definitely a possibility because there is a board game Steph, so there could be a Board Games Pam. <laughs> which is why Andrew made spam all caps, which I was a little bit like, this is aggressive, Andrew. We're like really just like screaming. But, you know, it's like you can't say spam without it saying it loud. You know, you can't whisper spam. I guess that's you true. can whisper spam, but I guess maybe my concern is that anything that's all caps is just auto aggressive. So it's just... <laughs> is it too much? Yeah, to the chat. Is is the capitalized spam too much? I like it. Or is it more important to have it clearly spam? Weigh in, please. We 
we debate about this daily. No, you know. <laughs> uh, the boy said we stopped early. Liz is sleepy. It was a lot to process. She was not expecting it to be as complicated. Oh, so mm -hmm. we didn't start to get hang of it. Yeah. Um, Liz, I definitely fair. have stopped many games when as I got sleepy. The animals <laughs> definitely are, uh, or the like the ecosystem running that is a bit complicated. Uh, but I do like that it's a little looser, so you can kind of just go with it. Um, and I think it just after you play because we played it the first time we played it, Moy, I was a little bit confused with the animals. And then on the stream, we, that was the second time we played it, and it was a lot easier. So it just kind of takes a little bit of time. But I think that's the hard thing with co-ops. We were watching um, a, a board game um show called the more meeples the merrier and one of the people were talking about how they just don't like co-ops um and i think that's one of the things that's hard for me with co-ops is like running the um the, the game the opponent the game yeah <laughs> to the I, I, game yeah. <laughs> running the game uh legend says legend is just fine um <laughs> yeah no, that's great <laughs> leg ends dm uh, <laughs> Ruel says, Lurk, back from lurking, and OMG, love Shot and Totten. Yeah, this is our surprise bonus round, Ruel. Um, Thanks for Shot and Totten. We just got this. It was recommended in the chat a little while ago by... Gri I think it's Grip, Grip Dog. Dog. I think, who's not here, but... Um, uh, or, or maybe not, and we're remembering it wrong, but we are also spreading that rumor that yeah. Grip Dog um, supports <laughs> and recommends this game. The same way that we were accidentally saying Legends DM, or Legend... SDM. <laughs> We're just Let's messing. go, Carl says, I like it. I thought it was all caps uh, to match the spam cam. Which Yes, good let's point. go, Carl. Good point. Um, Carol. It's Carol, like Caroline. We're all over the place. Yeah, we apparently are terrible at reading people's screen names. Um, we, I, I feel silly that I suggested that when we are playing Flick Fleet, after each round that you win, each game you win, you take a shot because we were not very good at the game. We yeah, could we not be taking bad. shots. <laughs> we didn't do that. Um, the rule book is a bit hard at first. It helps having seen you play uh, to understand the spirit of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I like the cartoon picture with Pia and the spam and Andrew Smaller. Yes. <laughs> I love that picture. It's so good. Moy says he likes the capital spam. <laughs> Tricky. Whoa, three cameras. Mind blown. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've done this a couple times, usually on head-to-head -head games. Tricky. Um, yeah, I don't want to be on the same camera as Andrew sometimes. <laughs> just depends on the vibe and the game. Um, it's been fun, actually, to just kind of mess around on sure. OBS and learn about... Um, and one cool thing we did, so we did, the, we did a game, uh, we did... The Flick Fleet earlier, which is very Star Wars esque, so I've got this Star White transition for the night. I don't know if I noticed this earlier, but I'm gonna just I don't know quickly if Andrew's usually sleeping during switch to just um, Pia here. Oh no. <laughs> and then switch back. Um just like Star Wars. Um Ruel has that Star Wipe in his morning show during um the Tatooine. Oh, or I haven't Tatooine Tuesday. Andrew's usually asleep during that time because he's in charge of the the baby super Ooh. early in the morning. Duke Frank says hydrate. Whoa! I'm, I'm actually finished over here, so you should get another. I'll get another one. <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm still thinking about my yeah. turn. We're we're all about the the twenty minute ish games right now. So we did two games of flick or three games of flick fleet, even though it was definitely not twenty minutes each. Um, and I'm trying to decide what I'm what I'm gonna do here because I can't do a run because Andrew's got the three here. So my new plan is to do this. Ooh, posture check. Ugh. Oh yeah. Sam, oh. we we got so um na neighbor. <laughs> Actually, this I'm just gonna be walking in the <laughs> Andrew's not not playing the game right now. Um, friend of the stream, neighbor of the stream. Um, Tricky 20, he suggested these like back, um, not back supports, but they're these cues for your back to sit up straight. Cause not only with like having a kid, I feel like you have to have good biomechanics, but also we're just like on our computers all the time with work when we were working. 
Andrew's so got I don't his. Know, I don't know where yours is. Um, but this is what they look like. There, there are these <laughs> straps here. I got the wingman just. <laughs> there are these straps, and so whenever we do the posture check, I was thinking this would be fun. We 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 pull out the actual posture. You know, posture check is it's so casual on a lot of streams. So I wanted to make make it like a real thing. So now I'm wearing this like posture backpack thing. <laughs> So so, you, so when someone says posture check, you have to get up. I have and... to get up. I have to go find this thing <laughs> and then put it on. So now it's, you guys know it's in the first. That was the first posture check. So and that and that is my ch chance to do some extra strategizing. Um, and it's your turn, by the way. Cool. <laughs> because your posture check <laughs> required walking around the house. Um, that kind of reminds me today, Andrew. Our I was mentioning earlier, I think our kid is going through a gro growth spurt, so he just hasn't been sleeping as long and um, not really napping as much, um, which is fine. It's just kind of like little little stages they go into. But um, we, Andrew had to go to the store and he did not have a jacket. And so we were <laughs> trying to figure out how he could go to the store without having a jacket. So he wore one of my cardigans. Um, which was um, was very cute, but Andrew Andrew just wasn't uh, he's not a he's not a cardigan guy, um, but it was lavender and very. It was a cardigan with, with sweatpants, sweatpants and uh, uh, Birkenstock. Birkenstock. It was a it was a look. I think it was if it was just a cardigan, it might have been fine. I, but it was I was not whole... ready to leave the house, and then suddenly I needed to leave the house, and I didn't want to wake up the baby. So the sacrifices we make. Usually we're fine going in there and grabbing it, but I think it's just bit he's just been a little bit um, easier to wake lately, so we're treading carefully. <laughs> or else I'm not gonna lie, I just straightened up in my chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kev Meeple, it's out in the U.S. Wait, what is? Uh, were we talking about Shot and Totten Two? Yes. Ooh. Was, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, if anyone knows, let us let us know. Yeah, Kev people, you've been coming in with all the information because after this, I'm watching Cobra Kai, one of um because of your recommendation, and then there's something else that we were talking about earlier today. I don't know, can't remember. Andrew, um, your turn. And then the Moy asked, "How long do you wear that for?" <laughs> uh, it's not an all day thing. It's like put on for a little while. It's mostly just about stretching the muscles. Um, yeah. I think part of the thing too we would get be OT advice from occupational therapy advice from PO over here. Yeah. Uh, what? How does this? How does this? This contraption work? I think part of the thing that would be important. It's your. It's your turn, by the way. Would oh. be that you'd still have to do the strengthening because that's the big thing. A lot of people do the stretching, but they don't do the strengthening piece. So it's like you have all the mobility or the flexibility, but you still need the muscles to be. Um, you like just stretch the muscles, and then you need to like actually strengthen um so that you can maintain that position mm -hmm. but i think i mean if anything it is i mean right now i'm sitting way better <laughs> sometimes it's like it's Sorry, the cue find yours um, i know andrew wants me to have bad posture he just used <laughs> he just got his okay here we go i i don't like showing you <laughs> my hand you frank is that a corset <laughs> it's a it's, corset it's for close. your shoulder it's a shoulder corset Let's see. You're doing a you're doing a run over there. Ooh, uh, Brandon Jar says shot and taunt in two. One person plays the attacker and the other one the defender. Interesting. So the defender only wins if the attacker gets through the whole deck without winning. Interesting. You know that Doctor Reiner Knizia. He is a. Oh, is that him too? I mean, I guess why wouldn't I'm I guessing him? it would be him because he made the first one. But Andrew's a big um a big fan. Knizia Knizia. What what are the fans of Knizia? Knizia heads or like <laughs> Kni <laughs> just, just Knizia heads? I don't know. <laughs> what what is it like? Um, oh man, there's got to be a name fanboy like there a fan should, yeah. like a fan name for him. There should be Knizia heads. I don't know why that's like the he's he's like definitely got some serious mad scientist vibes about him. Uh, I saw a tweet he did today. Uh. And um, I noticed he's got like 45,000 followers, which is not surprising. But he follows zero people. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. 
I know. <laughs> Uh, but it almost is like he's like I have to do he's not, this. He's like he's ascended. He is like he's <laughs> ascend. He's been enlightened. He's ascended to the board game plane. I don't understand how he works. What level he? He's like any time there's a new genre, he's like I'm just gonna make a better version than everything else. That's out. Uh, I I don't I don't understand it. Uh, the voice is Nit uh, Knitziax. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and the Kevin Meeple says, keeps your brain running the whole game. I love tight two-player games. Yeah, we do too. Um, this is just one of the, the many. Um, and the rule says, love Knizia. Yeah, uh, what are fans of Knizia called? <laughs> Knitziax, I like that. Um, <laughs> Knitziax, yeah. The first, the first result I got from Googling Truffle Shuffle was a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the boy follows nobody. Big flex, huge flex. It's, it's, it's like not even one or like like you might think it's actually zero. Go look him up on Twitter. <laughs> I was cracking up when I saw that. I almost screenshotted it and made it my own post about that. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I think his tweets even look like someone else writes them, so he might not even. How do you know? Because it, it was you talking know... about him in, a, in the third person. I, oh. So either that or he talked about maybe, himself. Maybe the, the doctor. Person. Maybe the doctor. I could see talks it. He has that right at this point. He can do that. <laughs> He's just made so many, so many, um, so many hits, so many bangers. Mm -hmm. The um, It's my turn. Yes. Week? Yeah. I think, uh, was it you, Kev Meeple, that had mentioned the, um, the tight two players? Or was that? I, sorry, I don't have my the, oh, my yeah. iPad is not that has the um, chat up is not working. But the, yeah, can be pulled out. Yeah, so. yeah, I think definitely in this pandemic, I've definitely appreciated the tight two player game, just because usually we play games socially with friends, and Andrew had to like pull my teeth to play sometimes. Um, but I think my endurance for games has grown, and I think also I. I'm I'm enjoying this like alternate activity to put like to do together. Um uh Legends DM says I have followers and I don't even stream. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if I said it wrong, but he follows no one else. There's he has a lot of followers, but he <laughs> he does not follow anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but that I mean if I mean that Work it's, for it's, Le like Legends DM yeah. too is like I don't stream, but then I have these followers. Yeah, totally. I guess yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe people are just trying to you know keep their their ear to the ground so that if they if you ever stream one day they'll they'll know. <laughs> Usually, I'm always curious when I see people in chat in other streams. I always wonder if they're a streamer too. But mm -hmm. my phone is not super great at like, um. Switching between. Not switching between, but like pulling up the little drop down menu to like see what else you can, like when you see someone's name, like I accidentally hit like re report someone. So I was like, I'm not going to try and pull up their information if they have an account or not an account, but like a channel. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to accidentally report somebody. Um, sorry. Uh, my turn. Says, I actually plan on streaming maybe next year. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Just uh, add us or whatever. Let us yeah. know when you are. Oh, okay. I'm excited. Check it out. Yeah, I really, Andrew and I were talking a, a bit about just Twitch as a medium and just kind of the the interaction with people that has been so satisfying. Because in some ways, like we started, we've talked about this, that we started Instagram just to chronicle the games we play and also so that we don't spam our friends with so many board games, hence the name Board Game Spam. But um, the, did I want to do that? Yes, I do. Um, but I think the like interaction on Twitch is super, super, um, like exciting and makes, um, evenings so unique, like stream, streams, board games, a unique experience that's different than when we play board games by ourselves all the time. Um, just makes it like a fun, special activity. And ultimately we just wanted to play more games too. And I think which facilitates us playing more games. Um, while sometimes on Instagram we end up, we're like, oh, that game looks fun. Let's buy it. Or I think, who was it yesterday who, or on Monday who said, was it, 
Oh, I'm totally forgetting now. Um, but someone said that sometimes with Instagram, the posture is to like review. And sometimes I, I just want to play the game instead of thinking about it critically. Like, do I like it? Do I not? Because then it kind of takes me away from the immersion. And I'm trying to like have a take on a game rather than just playing it um, and just enjoying it for what it is. Uh, ultimately, I think I end up with a judgment on it, but I I don't think my brain needs needs to be prompted to be critical. <laughs> Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to lose that. Which one? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> no, point, point to the one you were talking about. Okay. I'm going to lose. I'm going to win all of them. What is your plan for that? Oh. Two more? Three more? I have... Yeah, Duke. Um, Andrew, the, the selling point for this game was that you and Katie really like this game. He, like Andrew kept saying. It was vetted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go. Uh, uh, Ruel says, right on. I'll be your first subscriber. Ruel, you'll have to fight us for it. <laughs> uh, Legend of how's the board game scene in Hawaii? Ooh. I used to live there, but wasn't into the board games at the time. Ooh, mm. Legend of I didn't know you were from Hawaii. Which island are you from? Oh, don't make him dox himself. No, not. They're not that small. Um. <laughs> My uh, parents both lived on Oahu for nine years, or my dad did anyways. Your mom lived there moved, for a few. Yeah, they moved to the mainland before I was born, which, you know, I don't under, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why you do that. Oh, no. I do know why. It's because they came this year. But... That is such a bummer. Wait. The color run. There, there's an alternate reality out there where I grew up in Hawaii. Legend Team Season is a good team for board games, and I have about four to five different groups uh, to play with before COVID. Four to five, that's great. Do they do each of your groups like have a specific um, game? Uh, what is it like? Style like Not do they like preference. heroes or conflict games or are they all about the same kind of kind of mix or variety? I'm always curious about that. Mm -hmm. Is it my turn? No, it's my turn. I'm still trying to figure out what my plan is because you're going to win this and I don't want you to. Let's see. Also, I do win this one because you can't beat. Yeah. So you just grab it. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go. I'm going to go with. So I had a, a full color straight on this one and Pia was going for a. Uh, the, only, the best thing she could go for here is three of a kind, um, which would never be able to win a color streak. So I could prove it that I will win. That's right. Okay, go ahead, Adrian. Uh, Legend of so One is Cult of the New, one is Co ops, one is Euros, and one is whatever Legends decide. <laughs> and I guess that's your group. <laughs> one is Card Game. That sounds fun. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we just have our own group of friends, and mm -hmm. then we would schedule kind of couples nights or like other other uh, couples that we know like board games. So we would meet up with them and play four player games. That was about what we did. So we didn't mm -hmm. have any like we had one official group. We called it the dark table and the light table. It started with just talking about a light table. We're like, oh, we're we're trying to make it welcoming to people who didn't want to play the most intense games and then yeah like gateway games gateway are games. the term that um tim from meepleville it's your turn by the way mm -hmm. um said was like welcoming games uh, yeah. and so we were like oh there'll be a light there can be a light table where people play the lighter games and then and then we decided to start calling the other table the dark table rather than the uh, heavy table the heavy table <laughs> and so and it stuck yeah, it's so interesting because I think I would never play the, these games that are like, I mean, this isn't a long game, but we've played longer games now. Um, I wouldn't play it before COVID, but I think my brain is like looking for a little bit of um, 
like games with a little bit more length like rococo i don't know if i would just actively decide to play that um, mm -hmm. um thanks for the recommendation by the way Royal. rococo <laughs> we played we got to play it uh two weeks ago actually i think at this point and and i'm itching to play it again yeah it was super fun i'm it plays great at two but i'm really excited to play it with more when when we can meet together i think the part that really surprised me was that you just kept saying it's so well like so well respected and so well liked and i just had a really hard time um and i think i win this yeah it's a color suit. um and i was just like i don't really know how a game of that price would just be that much better and then i was like oh man this is just so smooth like mm -hmm. i am so surprised yeah uh, for those of you who don't know, Rococo Deluxe is a recent release. Um, it is all themed about you're making clothes for uh, French? For, for the French uh, for nobility. The French nobility uh, which is a funny theme, but it's an, actually an area control game, which is just uh, super... Um... Oh, we're getting raided! Oh. What up? Eclectic Camel! Burr, burr, burr. Uh, we got the raid idol here. Welcome, raiders. Thank you for raiding. This is our raid idol. He comes and greets you. Thank you for the raid. So exciting. Thank you, Eclectic Camel. Um, for those of you guys who are new, uh, for those of you people that are new, um, I'm Andrew. And I'm Pia. And we are Board Game Spam. Uh, we stream every monday and thursday we tend to uh we tend to play kind of more thematic euro games tonight's a little different we were we picked a bunch of short games so earlier we played uh a dexterity game called flick fleet well indie mm -hmm. dexterity game uh where it's very star wars-esque uh ships fighting each other and you're flicking dice d10s mostly which don't go straight which we learned all about. It was very funny. <laughs> uh, and that's where the space mat came from. And then uh, uh, the, the mat's not actually from the game. but um, And then uh, we want to do kind of a bonus game here. So we switched over to Shot and Ton, which is actually a suggestion from the chat from a week or two ago that we ended up picking up um, and really enjoying. So this is our fourth or fifth time playing it. First time on the stream. But So welcome, everyone. Yeah, thank you, yeah. the Camel. Uh, we always stream after our baby goes down, so uh, we try to start at 8, but sometimes it's closer to 8.10 or 8.20, so um, that just depends on things. And then actually, this is probably a good time to announce that tomorrow we are going to try a new format stream. Uh, we don't really have a name for it yet. We're, the general theme is Fun Friday, so <laughs> we're going to think of a better name than that, but... Um, Kind of do a party game with the chat so we're gonna be playing wavelength tomorrow night um, um and uh we'll be playing with the chat the chat will be competing with each other so hopefully and, we, and andrew and i will be competing for who is a better clue who, giver yeah um <laughs> so there's two there's two winners there's between andrew and i and then the chat but thank you eclectic camel for for rating it was super fun to um see you play um the root game we yes. have been our group of friends have been getting really into Root. We haven't played in a little while, but um, the 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 Root um, like virtual or not virtual, but online game, I guess, electronic yeah, version. Yeah, the, the app or the yeah. Uh, okay, we got a few things coming in here. So we've got a new follower. Oh, rolling with rock. Here we go. Uh, Doctor Alan Grant comes out and says, "So we do analog alerts here, just so you if you don't know." Now you do. Uh, Dr. Anthony <laughs> Grant comes out. He says, thank you for the follow. I was just working on digging up some dinosaur bones, and now I got to go back and do it. But thank you very much. And then he walks off and then continues to dig that. And then the Clock the Camel subscribed. So oh, uh, the Monkey is... King. Is... Oh, he's hiding. The Monkey King comes out, and he says, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> thank you again. Uh, and he changes his face each time. Let's get, Thank let's you, get you one more Thank time. Thank you one more time. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> Why is he angry? Let's let's change your deck, <laughs> Monkey King. Thank you. Oh, he's so happy now. 
<laughs> Thanks, Eclectic Camel. Thank you, Eclectic Camel. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, and there's a bunch of chat from the Raiders. Yes. Hi, Raiders. Um, Rolling with Rock says, hey, I thought I was uh, falling already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've definitely done that with a couple of people. I'm like, why is this not? Yeah, why, why is this heart not filled in? <laughs> uh, he says, as a fel fellow parent of youngsters, I feel that. Mm -hmm. uh, Moy says, love fun Fridays. <laughs> uh, Brain drive, that sounds awesome. Yeah, thank you, guys. Um, how's the space flicking gang, Herb's Gambit? Was it tonight? It was tonight. Um, and it was it was dicey, Herb's. <laughs> Herb's Gambit. Definitely <laughs> yeah. Good pun. Um, I started off really poorly. It's really hard to calibrate your flick, and it took a while to f figure out that my best mode of flicking is the whole hand opening. Because okay. for some reason, this was too. We're gonna give you just a just oh, little no. preview here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna flick one of these dice. So they are they are d tens. So they they roll like a football. So they don't they don't go straight. There are multiple like times that where... time it did go straight, <laughs> but <laughs> multiple times where the dice like curved around yeah. the the ship that we were. Um... It was fun. It's still it's a silly game, but um, also relatively strategic, so definitely a good time. Yeah, I don't know if I was playing at the level of strategy that the game is built on, but I mean, the nice thing is it's a short game. We've been really getting into our kind of shorter games, um, trying to play them during during the naps. And the um in the evenings too. We can stack like three games, which is yeah. surprising. And we got Polly people coming in with a follow. Dr. Alan Grant comes out, he's taking a break from his work. He says, Thank you, Polly people. Thanks for the follow. Got a dinosaur to dig up. I'm gonna go do that now. See you around. Thanks for all the follows. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Um um, oh no, this yeah. is bad. So we're is playing shot and talk now. Two, if three, anyone four, is five, six, really seven, eight, nine, that. 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's so 19. Then you, yeah. Um, but the. Um, oh, rolling with rock. We have Power Rangers in the cart. I don't know if you ordered it. I ordered it. He ordered it. <laughs> we after we watched you play, I like looked at the game. I watched a lot of reviews, and I was I went to the dentist the other day, and so in the waiting room, I just kept looking at the um all the like pieces and all that stuff. We got it. It was <laughs> I think I um of the two of us, Andrew's the one who does more of the purchasing, and he usually is super excited about. The game or the IP, and this is like one of the first games that I immediately was like, I really like this <laughs> this like theme. Well, if, just... if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. It's a cooperative Power Rangers game <laughs> uh, where you're fighting the Power Rangers monsters um, that uh, is supposedly really, really good, uh, both whether or not you like Power Rangers. Pia loves Power Rangers, um, but we saw Rolling with Rock playing it and um pia was immediately obsessed and but we were we were playing another we were playing this game shot and totten actually and uh suddenly I, her turns slowed down to like 15 minute turns because she was just like watching <laughs> the game and so yeah that was been our big discussion this week like should we shouldn't we well we do was, have a lot of games so it's not like we need another one but andrew yeah. was like i'm They're just so excited mostly, that you're excited yeah, they're mostly my purchases, so they're like themes and stuff that I care about. But so there's not as much Pia represented in there. So um, it was just so funny rolling with the rock because you'd like show the various pieces, and then I was just like, oh, I remember. Like it's just a nostalgia trip, and um, it's your turn, by the way. Mm. Um, and it was pretty. Um, usually, uh, we picked up the the play a game. Well, a stream is in the background from Ruel, and it, I could not focus at all when watching <laughs> when watching Rolling with the Rock when you were playing um, Power Rangers. It just looked so fun. And then Andrew, it's actually very funny because he tried to convince me to get it a long time ago because he knows I like Power Rangers. Um, and I think you had played me the Shut Up and Sit Down podcast, like the little section that they talked about. But I guess I just didn't really know what I liked very much at that point. Um, 
we both got into the hobby, but Andrew dived deeper um, compared to me. So it was like just a little bit hard for me to, um, sure. yeah, to, to yeah. know if I would like it. And I was sold. Yeah, the, the unfortunate thing is we missed the Kickstarter that happened last summer. So um, that's okay. I'm going to have so much yeah. fun. We, we missed our chance on that Kickstarter box, but maybe they'll do another one at some point. Um, I'm going to catch up on oh. chat here for a second. Um, Eclectic Camel says, uh, glad we could catch you. Got to get to bed. Have a great stream. Yeah, thank you, Eclectic Camel. I don't know if we we'll probably missed it already. Missed it already. <laughs> uh, and then Legends DM, does Andrew have a toy rafter to play with? I do have a toy rafter to play with, uh, but not here. It's at my parents' house still in a giant box with the rest of my Jurassic Park stuff. But next time I'm over there, I should go ruffle through that box. And that, you know what? Things. That should be a stream. It yeah. should be an unboxing like, of your old toys. Well, I had the, I also had the, um, the, like the command center or the, uh, the visitor center toy, which is like, would take up this whole, this whole, <gasps> I mean, half this table that we have. So we're not bringing that over because it's huge. And I'm just thankful that my parents are storing it right now. So actually, you know what? I don't know if anyone would watch you stream. I would watch a stream of you opening your box of old toys. But <laughs> the reason I thought about this is because we had a friend who went to his parents' house, got a box of his stuff from high school, and we sat and watched him look through the box, and it was just like old weapons that his family like like knives and like little sabers and whatnot that his family picked up when they would travel um around the world and like he found his old diaries and he read us some like um some some passages of it and <laughs> it was just it was so funny um so I think it would be really funny to see yeah. it. I don't know if anyone else would watch Andrew unbox his old toys. We'll we'll see. It's a big <laughs> It's a big container. Um, <laughs> Herbs Camp says, "Can't wait for the Power Rangers deck builder." Yes, I we saw that when we were ordering the um, Heroes for the Grid that there's a deck builder coming out. Uh, but the art is really amazing. And the shop and sit down said they talked to the designer and they said that the challenge they had with doing the art and the assets for the game was they needed to design something that reflected what you remember Power Rangers to be, not what it actually looked back looked like. Which is funny to think, because if you look back at Power Rangers, it looks terrible. <laughs> it doesn't hold up. It doesn't the... hold up. And so what they needed to create our assets that was what your child self imagined how cool it was. And so I think they nailed that um, with oh, the game. But, um, yeah. Well, first, I, Herbs Gambit, I did not realize that there's a deck builder. I think I might have saw it on the website, but I don't know if I like understood what that was or if it was a part of the game the heroes of the grid mm -hmm. the other thing that's interesting is an example of n not remembering um like remembering something from your childhood incorrectly is i watched some clips like screenshots of wishbone if anyone is of that age and watch wishbone and what they wore was bananas <laughs> and then yeah we just spent a whole night watching wishbone <laughs> This is what we were watching. <laughs> and I just remember thinking this was absolutely normal. Or like watching Mary Kate and Ashley. Like this outfit, like I remember trying to make my hair do that. But it's so interesting because then if you, if anyone's familiar with the show, um, what's that show? Um, um, Fresh Off the Boat, they try to do that style of like clothing. But after watching wishbone and seeing it like raw in the moment like that's how they <laughs> like that's the outfits they had and then seeing fresh off the boats like take on it it's like that's definitely what you thought it looked like but it really didn't like it was they definitely updated it to make it acceptable <laughs> <laughs> for modern, modern standards um and then rolling with rock i'm always happy when someone says they got into a game in uh some small part due to me yeah it was not just a small part role. <laughs> it, was it was probably a hundred percent it was probably one percent I mean... andrew three years ago yeah i don't know <laughs> uh again i would do it andrew um what, you, what was i saying well, we're, maybe we're... the the unboxing of your toys oh yes <laughs> i don't know herbs game but if that's yeah, what you're talking game, about. i would watch andrew go through a box of toys yeah. <laughs> it's it's the it's a true unboxing because I don't remember everything in there that's in there. I do remember the Velociraptor, the uh, 
um, the center. And actually, I had an old Jurassic Park board game, uh, which I remember was a giant box. I don't know if we kept that one or not, but I wonder if that holds. I mean, I remember not really understanding the game at all when I played it as a kid, so I think I just played around with the pieces. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm curious about that. Actually, that might be a good, that might be a good one to to dust off and see if it holds up. That's such a big thing for kids is like just like little pieces, like little toys. Like I work. Um, I'm a pediatric therapist, and so I, like, kids just always come to school with, like, small figurines that they're just, like, holding or have in their pocket, and then they lose and they cry. But it's like, you don't really play with it. You just hold it. You just have it. And you're like, this is my little toy. <laughs> uh, Kim, it says, Netflix has a special about the origins of Power Rangers and the toys. I highly, highly recommend it. That oh, sounds awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we'll probably watch that. We're gonna watch Cobra Kai, and then we're gonna, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. It's Cobra Kai, and then it's gonna be what? What's the name of it? Um, Herb yeah. Gambit. Uh, yeah, Herb. If you know the name of that show, uh, I'm sure we could search it, but um, let us know. And then Rolling Well with Rock, I'll be getting a copy of the Deck Builder when it's released, and I'll probably stream it. So I can get you hooked on that too. Yeah. <laughs> let us know if it's fun. I love deck building games, so it's probably gonna be an easy sell for me. But um. I guess it depends on if it's if we want to Power Rangers games, but I'm I I'm probably fine with it will because, uh, you know if if one of us is like gunning to play a game, that's all that's needed for me. Is it my turn? It's your turn, yeah. I think that's the part I'm trying to think if there's any game with an IP or even theme that I'm just like absolutely a hundred percent like like Cat Lady is like just a funny one because it's just cats and I like cats, but nothing like specific as specific as Power Rangers. Because, like, you like Star... Like, you like... I mean, there's no Jurassic Park-specific game, but there are a lot of dinosaur games. Um, There is one Jurassic Park-specific game. It's by uh, Ravensburger. We played it one of the cabin weekends. It was was fun. It didn't have a lot of depth to it. I think it probably had, like... um, Like, it's fun to play two or three times. Mm, I see. Yeah, Rolling Rock. There is a Jurassic Park game, yeah. Uh, What's it... I can't remember the name of it. I had it. We played it once... And then eventually I gave it away. This is this is going very poorly for me. Okay, okay. What's what's my plan here? So the Power Ranger episode of the Toys That Made Us. Oh, okay. The so it's an episode us. of a, a documentary series. And then Herb's Gambit says the show has more episodes for He Man, GI Joe, Barbie, Lego, and the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that sounds oh. awesome. The um, oh my gosh, that now I'm just thinking. Sorry, I'm not even thinking yeah. about my turns, I'm thinking about the games. The stream is just gonna be uh, we're gonna turn this into a watch party where we watch this whole series. <laughs> um, yeah, I was telling Andrew the other day that there was like a commercial at the beginning of all the Power Rangers like movies or like VHSs for the Power Rangers like fan club that you could join for like fourteen ninety nine or nineteen ninety nine. And I like swear that if you joined you would get a full helmet. Like I was I for some reason I convinced myself like my eight year old self was like if I join I can get a helmet. Like that's part of being a fan. Sure. Like you get given a probably like I don't know a full I, a full helmet that goes like and closes your <laughs> and they give you I remember thinking and they're gonna give me a cool hair net to get my hair into the <laughs> into the helmet. And I don't know where I got that idea, but I was just like like the Power Rangers fan club sounds so cool. What would be the coolest thing that that, that they would offer? It, surely a helmet. A helmet that would be probably like I don't know, a four hundred dollar thing that's like custom <laughs> shaped to your head. Um Yeah. But that's um I was delusional. <laughs> I mean I had similar delusions about Jurassic Park. I wanted to design my bedroom like Jurassic Park. Um and I thought like, oh, I could like turn my bunk bed into a tree fort bed where you paper mache like a full tree around the bed and then and then I was like, Well if I do that and then I just I just tell, you know, Universal Studios, they'll send me like a a velociraptor statue <laughs> i was like i had all these dreams but i always dream up 
Your and then I would have serious arguments with my parents as to why I, we should do that. <laughs> I deserve a, a, a jungle bed. Or the audacity <laughs> of a child. Yeah, your mom said that she was like, yeah, I would talk to Andrew. And he was just like... It's easy. You can make me a Velociraptor jungle bed. Like, it was... It's like, if you could dream it up, it could it easily could, it be could ex executed. <laughs> I just want that stone, by the way. You want that stone? Oh, yeah. This is, this is looking... This is looking bleak. I think I might win that. It's a run. Uh, yep. Hide game over here. One, two, three. Uh, and the Rolling Rock with Rock says it's a Ravensburg game, but Dinosaur Island does Jurassic Park better. It can it can't use the characters. Yeah, they don't have the license. Um, I really mm. love Dinosaur Island's take on Jurassic Park with the like neon '80s colors. Mm -hmm. It's like a fun combo that obviously didn't exist in the original artwork, but um, it's like a sidestep, right? Yeah, it's, it's a like... sidestep. It's like they took an aesthetic that was from the time. And applied it to Jurassic Park, which I thought was a really fun way to do it. The creative um, and yeah, mm -hmm. we uh, we like both that and uh, Dinogenics. Uh, Dinogenics, which is the other kind of Jurassic Park themed dinosaur game. <laughs> I um, like how. I guess no, never mind. You're right. I was gonna say what makes it Jur Jurassic Park themed as like other than it has dinosaurs, but it is it's because park. it's a park. Yeah, Got it's it. a dinosaur park. And uh, the the Ravensburger one was more of like a survival game, and it was uh, like one versus many. So one person played all the dinosaurs, and then the other people played characters. Mm. And it was an it was enjoyable. Um, it was it was not the deepest game I've ever played, so you would probably run out of um, replays after a while. Mm. But um, it was definitely worth the play that we got out of it. The Legends DM says, Andrew, just do it now. Put a life size Velociraptor in your room. Guard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we could pull that off. It would just cost thousands of dollars. <laughs> well, um, I think it's your turn, by uh, the way. Uh, yeah. But um, that kind of reminds me we worked at a summer camp and we were in charge. Well, Andrew was in charge of like the the different themes for the week for the kids and one of them obviously knowing andrew a bit is that he did a jurassic park and he like employed basically he like gathered the creativity of everyone in staff to um make jurassic park happen basically so like one of the one of the guys he is like a great carpenter so he like Andrew's trying to get him to build like the Jurassic Park gate. And then we had a friend who also was a great craftsman, just kind of like a jack of all trades. He's an artist and we were trying to get him to create a dinosaur type statue thing. It was so fun. We also did an avatar the last airbender week, which was super fun. We made all the like flags of the different nations and like the beach area at the lake was um, the water nation. And then the really big like lunch, not lunch, but like meal um, house was the um, Earth Nation. Earth Nation, because it was one of the biggest spots in the um, in the camp. Yeah, just stuff. I don't know. There's something I really like. I never did it as a or when I was in a, in co not college, high school, but I really like the idea of like set design or like costumes. Um, and I feel like I got to use that energy. Yeah, Thank it was you. super fun doing doing uh, the different themes, and we were yeah we were so Is close to getting the the Jurassic Park gate yeah go for it uh, Jurassic Park gate put at the front of the camp. We had all the materials and labor and everything set up, and then there was uh, someone who didn't want it permanently there, and so it got vetoed at the at the at the eleventh hour, unfortunately, but um. Which was a big disappointment, but you know, sometimes we got to dream it up. We got to dream it up, so that was fun. Uh, then uh, Legends DM, uh, but, but make sure Pia gets a Power Ranger helmet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the helmet on the on the Velociraptor. Uh, board at home says hello. Hey, board at home. Hi, board at home. Welcome to the stream. Um, Legends DM, I'm reading a graphic novel of Avatar: The Last Airbender called Toph 
uh, Baycon's Metal Bending Academy. Ooh! Toph was one of the, I mean, there's so many characters that are my Toph was characters. one of... But one of my favorite characters. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, did anyone hear the news today that Nickelodeon is actually... Um, yeah, oh, Kevin Meeple's just throwing it out there. Uh, they are creating an Avatar studio that's just going to focus on making new Avatar content. Like in, like set in that world? Set in the universe. Oh, cool. So, um, very, very excited about that. I've been wanting new Avatar. I mean, the uh, Dragon Prince has been very fun, but it's not quite the same as Avatar, which is the same by the same team, but not the fight. not a different or a but, different world. Yeah. Um, it's your turn, I believe, but let me double check. One, two, three, four. Herb's Gambit Mythbuster Adam Savage is creating a raptor costume that looks incredible, and he's showing his uh, progress on the YouTube channel tested. That sounds awesome. This makes me want to watch Jurassic Park again. Your turn. My turn, okay. I was like, I was like... It can't still be Andrew's turn, but it is. <laughs> um, Born at Home was. Am I correct? Did were you playing um, God Loves Dinosaurs at some point? I, I'm I'm trying because we were just talking about dinosaur themed board games, and I remember trying. I was trying to remember that I was going to try to catch somebody's stream today that they were doing God Loves Dinosaurs, um, which is a dinosaur theme, but not a Jurassic Park or like a park dino mm-hmm. park themed game. But we have it, but we haven't played it. It might be a game we play on Thursday, as since our theme for Thursday is just games that we own but have not played or played maybe once and mm-hmm. haven't really played again. Not because we don't like it, but because we have a lot of other games. I'm really into trying to get more plays um, out of our game. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're we're calling Thursdays uh, our back shelf Thursday. So it's not. The, not our shelf of shame. It's not our shelf of uh, the, opportunity. It's the, the proverbial. It's, it's the back shelf. So it's it's not it's games that we haven't played yet, but also games that have like we played maybe a year ago, enjoyed it, and then it's just been sitting there for a year. So we're trying to dust we get, them off. We get distracted by the next game. Yeah. Um uh board home says i tried to raid you earlier but i raided eclectic camel uh, <laughs> well uh, thank you for right the attempt <laughs> yeah thanks for the attempt uh but it was right when he raided here then things got all weird on my end <laughs> we've definitely no done worry. that before yeah. we've screwed we've not screwed up a raid but we've we've uh who did we raid into the other day i that, think it was rolling with rock i think you just ended right yeah it was like uh the last second of his stream <laughs> so we all got there and he had just signed off Felt we're so like, bad. We're like, oh no, we just jumped on to another yeah, person. Yeah, then we just rolled it over to the next person. So. But yeah, Twitch is definitely something that's been a an interesting thing to learn. Um, but it's kind of nice to use your like learning new skill side of your brain. Ooh, um, Mano Josh says, uh, "Ask oh, Mano's here." Hey, Mano. Hey, signing in late again. Welcome. Um, well, this is the post game talk. Is, we're not quite. Oh, this is the post game game. Uh, <laughs> The wind down game, but uh, he asked if we watched Legend of Korra, which we have and really enjoyed. Um, first season, I was less into, but I really enjoyed it as it went on. The next, I think, three were really great. Not that uh, the first season was was good. It's just it's hard it, when I felt you're... like they took a while to find their the tone of it, um, which was a little different than, of course, the original. And I think, too, we've talked about this where it's always hard to, because you always want to compare, or not you want to, but it's it's hard not to compare it with um, the first success that they had, which is Avatar The Last Airbender. So I think it was, um, I was spending too much time comparing, so I couldn't super get into the first season, and then eventually I understood it for what it was, which was a separate separate thing. But... Um, Money Josh, I feel like you would really enjoy the game we played, which was Flick Fleet. So just, you know, you use all your like paper football skills of years past and you're flicking dice at the other person's um, ship and trying to um, take it down. And it was very funny. 
Um, I was telling Andrew that I don't know why, but every time I whiffed or like hit it too fast or like barely made the dice move, it just was always so funny to me. <laughs> it's like so much tension built up and then like, oh, I like totally screwed that up. Um, it's frustrating, but you can't be frustrated for, for too long because you're just like, this is so funny and silly. Um, is there, is it only a two player game? Okay, I was thinking about the mayhem if there was more. If there was more. <laughs> Um, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five. Our chance is love God's, uh, God loves dinosaurs is fun. Ooh, I haven't, I haven't played it yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to play it. Uh, that's another, we played Far Away, which was, had like, uh, the living ecosystem in the game, and Go ahead. that one also does, which is exciting. Um, are you doing three nines over there? Yep. Herbs Gambit, um, I know that you're playing, uh, if, well, actually, I don't know. I, th I, I think, if I recall correctly, you're playing um, Sleeping Gods with your spouse. I was wondering how far y'all are in it. I We had it set up, and then um, we had Andrew's parents come over, so we put it away, and I... S s Kind of sort of regret it because I just want to play more, but it's, it takes a few extra steps to pull it out. Um, so that's why we've been doing the smaller games since all our bigger games have been put away. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't there's so regret. much to consider in this game when once yeah. the cards are all out there. Totally. Um. I board at home says yes it was my first time playing it really enjoyed it it's fairly easy but then pretty thinky too Ooh, yeah that's fun i like uh easy to learn but thinky i'm rolling with the rock also says uh yeah it was that was funny but still appreciated mm. um and then morning josh said i caught a little bit earlier who won pia won two of the games and i won one of the games so we were uh pretty quick we did three games um they were all pretty quick um, and the Legends DM this weekend hoping to play uh, role player as well as adventure tactics domains tower. Um, I've heard great things about role player and adventure tactics. I think you had mentioned that's like Final Fantasy tactics, but in a board game form, which always sounds fun. Is this, I win this, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, board at home. I might um, check out um, if your videos are saved on your channel. I might check out the um, God Loves Dinosaurs. I think that's like the next thing on deck that I I'm wanting to play that. And we also got I win this. Um, ooh, yes, that's tr correct. Um, it's funny how I feel like we. I feel like I like swing back and forth with like different types of games. Um, my mood for, I mean, it makes sense, right? If you're like playing really thinky games. Mm -hmm. um, like we played, what's that game? Similar um, to what you described, Board at Home, where it's like not super complex in terms of rule, rules overhead, but then there's a lot to think about. Um, the King is Dead. That was a game we played and played a lot of. Andrew played it on um, online with some friends as well. And I feel like I was like, I just wanted to play it a lot. And then I was like, my brain, I need to take a break from it. Sorry, I'm just thinking about all these things. Um, Born at Home, yeah, they should be. And Legends of the Game is Final Fantasy Tactics board game form. You play characters that level up, storybook for campaign, tiles for maps with miniatures, cardboard standees. Sounds cool, yeah. Um, we haven't played too many campaign and 
Adventures games. Uh, I guess Sleeping Gods. Is the, that's not really an adventures game though. Uh, other than Gloomhaven, which I played maybe five scenarios of the like two hundred that comes with the box. Because then the pandemic happened, and then yeah. Andrew couldn't play. I've I've been trying to sneak in and try to trying to get Andrew to. Is it my turn? Yeah. yeah. Let me play um, Gloomhaven, even though I'm not the original the original group. I'm gonna go here, and I think I win this. Yep. Oh, oh wait, yeah, never mind. I'm trying to figure out if it's possible for you to win this one or not. Um, it is a run any color, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So it's the lowest, You'll almost the lowest. All will be revealed in time, Andrew. Hmm. <laughs> this game is so tough because I have to place one there because that one's full, and you know. But I don't have it, so I just need to play anything. So, anyways. <laughs> so you're going to get that on your turn. Like this? Yeah. And then I would go like this. And you would get that one. Ah. Oh. Yes. Every time. Every time. Good game. Um. So tough. So tough. The... This this is the type of game that my brain it fits very well with how my brain thinks. <laughs> it's like just the right amount of things to be like thinking about. Um cuz I think anything more than this then I start getting distracted by um by like other moves or like mm -hmm. other things to like be considering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah, uh, Legend of says, uh, people are comparing Adventure Tactics as a lighter Gloomhaven. Oh! An excellent leveling up system. Cool. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not against Pia playing Gloomhaven with us. I just don't want us to, like, get super far into the story. Oh, yeah, that's then true. And have to catch up the art the people we've been playing with. Yeah, I guess I don't. I guess I don't know why I'm so like. Let me play Gloomhaven because we have other games that we have to play. Yeah, we could play. You know, Lord of the Rings, uh, Journeys to Middle Earth. That's a campaign. There's Sleeping Gods. Yeah, we, we have we have them. other options. It's just, just the the moment Andrew is like, yeah, you can play Pia, but we you know we don't want to get too far ahead. I'm like, now I want to play it. It's like <laughs> it's like when you tell children like, don't touch this, and they're just staring at it like I need it. <laughs> but um, I think I I'm just really liking leveling like any game with leveling up. It's just mm -hmm. um, I don't know what it is. Or <laughs> at home now I must play. <laughs> yeah this uh this game's great um i it's so light on terms of rules all you've is play little player aid is basically all the rules it's the hierarchy of cards if you've played any kind of traditional card game with runs or three of a kind or whatever you already kind of know the the mm -hmm. the order that this is going to be in mm -hmm. uh, and uh yeah it's it's very fun so Highly recommend this one. And then, of course, Flick Fleet is great, too. Um, very, very different type of game, though, than this, yeah. though. I didn't realize, but I don't know if you can see, but in Flick Fleet, there is, like, this cosmic hand. Is this in focus? <laughs> yeah. This cosmic hand that's, like, flicking the, um, <laughs> the, the ships or the dice, which is pretty fun. A dice dexterity game of deep space destruction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's raid someone tonight. But before oh, we go, yeah. thank oh. you so much yeah. for joining us and talking about nostalgic um, toys and shows and watching us play uh, a little bit of a thinkier game after a very, very silly game. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it looks like we've got. Two 
uh, board game streamers out there. Of course, any recommendations from the audience, we'd love to, um, we would take. Uh, we're not familiar with either of them, but uh, we'd love to support them either way. There is one player playing Gloomhaven on the digital app, and then um, then someone else playing, it looks like, Villainous. So uh, throw out in the chat if there's something that you guys would like to um, read into. But uh, but yeah, thanks we'll, for dropping yeah, thanks. in since, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty late. So we're, we're um, thanks for closing out the night with us. Yeah, it looks like we've got Villainous in the chat. That's the awesome. first one I saw, so. That is Living Squishy. And perhaps if you all are available tomorrow, we are going to try and play a game with chat for the first time. We've always enjoyed seeing it with other streamers. So we're playing Wavelength, which is like a kind of a word game, kind of a code names-y type mm -hmm. of game. But the chat will compete against each other, and then Andrew and I will compete against each other for who will be the best clue giver. Yeah. We'll have, uh, uh, I think, you know, a good time and, you know, try to keep it light and, you know, share some, share some drinks. Uh, hopefully, I'm thinking it'd be fun to have a bartender of some sort show up, but we'll see how that goes. So, anyway. <laughs> Andrew might be the I, bartender. I might be the bartender. He might, he might have a, a persona that he brings out. Uh... <laughs> All right, so we're going to start this raid here. That was very poorly done. What? Start the raid, because I'm shuffling poorly here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining. And then here we go. Is it automatic? Usually I feel like it's pretty funny when people are, are like still talking and then they like automatically get cut off. So I'll just <laughs> keep talking. I think so. People have to accept. It was close. Oh. I'm just trying to figure out how I 